What up, what up, what up, man? It's your boy, Shy. Shy versus everybody podcast. Voice of Detroit. Motherfucking podcast MVP in this motherfucker, man. The champ is here. The champ is here. Boy, Shy, Shy vs. Everybody Podcast, episode 133, man. You yeah. got a goddamn special one in the building, man. Motherfucker, you, you, you a Detroit legend, dog. You know that, Oh, man. man, I did not know that, but that's what's up. Yeah, we got, we got, goddamn, I'm going to start off with the most important job you got, man. You a father. We got like. father, goddamn director, like. CEO, like. motherfucking ex-football player, For life. Uh, ex-party promoter, dog. Yeah. With, uh, cut a bug, shout out to my nigga Tom, man. Yeah. Goddamn podcast host. <laughs> And motherfucking rapper, dog. We got Oprah Roller, man. My dog. What's good with you, man? What's up, baby? Appreciate you coming through, bro. Man, thank you for having me, man. Man, you know, whenever you hit people up, like, like who know in the city, dog, I'll be like, yeah. damn, they gonna hold me. <laughs> they even gonna open this motherfucker up, dog. And shout out to my boy Deshaun, man. He had sent me uh, uh, some of you had posted about your new album coming up. Yeah, and yeah, was, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Willing to come on some podcasts. Yeah, and shit. hell yeah. Yeah. So like, man, you should reach out. I'm like, all right, I'll give it a try, man. He probably gonna hold me, though, cuz. Nah, man, never, <laughs> never. <laughs> yeah, man. So before we get to everything, bro, we start off everything with Salute Me While I'm Here. A lot of times we wait for people to pass away and be like, damn, he or she is dope. Yeah. But it can't be, you know what I'm saying, moms or pops, like, you know what I'm saying, kids. It gotta be somebody outside of that yeah. easy answer and shit, though. Yeah. So you got somebody you wanna give a shout out to? Oh, man. Shoot. That's on the spot. <laughs> uh, you said no family members, right? It can't be no, you know, not the ones that you grew up with in the crib. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Them, man. No um, shit, man. Salute to uh, everybody in the city, man, that's pushing right now, man. Sure. Just just salute. Like, oh, yeah. They're doing we it. still going. Yeah, you know, I remember, I, you know, I'm old enough to be around the times so when they was like, Detroit rap is never gonna make it. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> you know, we was corny for doing the shit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Damn. Especially coming from such a street uh, element of an environment mm -hmm. that Detroit is as a whole as a city. So it's like rapping was like what y'all niggas doing. Yeah, you know sure. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So it's like yeah, yeah. you sure. know, we had to, you know, answer that a lot, you yeah. know. And uh yeah. yeah, man, shout out to everybody for just Thugging it through, keeping yeah. it going, and you know, all the young cats. Bro, we wasn't getting no love. Yeah, man. And yeah, we had some dope rappers back there. Man, man, we had fire rappers. Like, yeah. we always had the sauce. That's the thing. You think because niggas were scared at the time, dog? I think that, um, hmm, I don't know if I say scared, but I think that, oh, you mean like outside people? Yeah, outside coming in. Yeah, like, for sure. Fuck with us. For sure. Because what they hear about Detroit and shit. Yeah, yeah for man. sure. Now, now, let me ask you this, dog, because. Who you think made it so that people could come here and be comfortable, man? I said T, but then I start thinking about Days Love. Days. When she came out with Try Me, it's like yeah. Everybody, everybody, and Mama jumped on the remix. Yeah, facts. You know, it's facts. like, do you think maybe hurt? She was the one who kind of like brought some attention to the city, man. Days definitely did because I'm gonna say this why, and um, be honest with you, yeah. though I hate to say it, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh. Her and the management team that we had at the time, they came up with a brilliant idea. IBGM. IBGM. IBGM, yeah, man. They did a brilliant move, and they came up with the with a theory of for the video, let's have both sides in it. Mm -hmm. Like, because, you know, that was a time where it was still a little bit tr little, turmoil. Yeah, for sure. Where, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Team East and Doughboy. So, they, yeah. they, I mean, that was their idea, and, I mean, they made it, I mean, Didn't yeah. I remember that. Yeah, but yeah. that made it, that made it, like... Like it's chill here. Like, come on, yeah, like y'all good. Sure. Like yeah, yeah, that yeah. kind of like and, and I would say Sean did a little bit too. For sure. Because Sean kind of showed people that Detroit niggas aren't just the typical Detroit nigga yeah, that you yeah, think about. Sure. You know what yeah, I'm saying? It's, it's different. It's different looks of us. Yeah. And we had that one look. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then once he came in, yeah, like, you got different. Uh, what's my man, Danny Brown? Danny Brown, yeah, Danny Brown for yeah, sure. You got different looks than just yeah. the typical nigga. I'm, I'm gonna kill you. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah no. for no reason. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. Hell, yeah, hell yeah, dog. Yeah, shout out to shout out to man, shout out to Days, dog. I was Days, like, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, she was like, big contribution. No, for sure, for sure. You I remember I was saying? in Texas when. When that Try Me Ad came out, I'm like, okay. hey, where she come from? Oh, she went to Southeastern too, nigga. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and, Days low, low key, man. You know, one thing I said about Days, she low key, um, she might have been the biggest artist to ever come from here that was like 
the pop off. Like yeah, yeah, for sure. Like if you think about it, like yeah. um, I, I mean M, yeah. but. Even that took a time, but I mean, just off the rip, yeah, like she can't, yeah. so can't and she was like, like she literally was the biggest artist in the world. Like yeah. it was, it was Drake, yeah. then Dave, yeah. then like yeah, you, you know, know what I'm saying? Niggas kind, of, I'm talking about dudes kind of mimic her sound a little bit too. Oh yeah, no, nah, that's I the, know yeah. that's names, but <laughs> that's everything. <laughs> it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah they that's, kind of, that's I don't even know. Yeah, they kind of took her sound a little bit, man. Hey, yeah. shout out to Dave, you over in the city and you want to fuck around? Come on the show, man. Hey, yeah, man. pull up. Yeah, you was nice looking too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, man, before we get to everything, bro, uh, how your year been, man? It's twenty twenty two. It's shit almost over with, man. Summer about to be over and shit, dog. How your year been, man? Good, bad, all that shit. Uh, my year has been, man, interesting, man. Um, I'm just learning so much this year, man. Like you know, um. That's all I really say. It's, it's real interesting, man. Like I just, I'm just, I'm in the process of like. Bumping my head with a few things, exper yeah. experimenting with things, sure. and just you know what I'm saying, figuring things out on my own a little bit yeah. that I didn't know before in certain areas. Yeah, yeah. And um, yeah, man, like it's just a big learning experience. And I'm also blessed to be in a situation where I can afford to be in this learning experience. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah you, you know what I'm saying? Like, man, head. facts, <laughs> facts. So it's like, <laughs> it's like, yeah. yeah, man, it's a very interesting time. For so me. what's some shit that you saying there, dog? What's some shit like you might came into the game? Not knowing that you know now, or some shit that you know, saying like, damn, like I'm learning from. I wasn't doing that shit back then. Like, like I'm, I got my paperwork better now, or like, what's some shit yeah. that you start off with that you kind of like on some fu fucking up on because you didn't know. In um, just how to run a business, like more so, like, yeah. um, you know, because PSL that's the name of my brand, yeah, my, yeah. my label, um, and just running the business, like I have an artist signed to it, like you know what I'm saying, like yeah. just learning the the kinks, learning what the artist needs, learning, you know what I'm saying, like the mistakes I might have made or the mistakes they might have made, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, like learning how to like get through that, like this is the whole process yeah. and shit. Yeah. Now, you know what, what that stand for? Public school league. Now, did you do that because both of your parents were teachers? No, I didn't do that because I, I did it because I, I came through public schools. I'm yeah, a public school kid. For sure. For so sure, I look at sure. it like everywhere there's a public school. So yeah, I want exactly. my label to be as open but as street as a public school. Yeah, no, Kind of sort of. You know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? Now, because uh, I want to get to um, some shit, but you you already spoke of the label and you have an artist. Is it hard yeah. being an artist yourself when you're trying to put your music out plus trying to cater to that person too? No, nah, it's not really hard being an artist myself. It, the, the hard part is when you like see somebody that you care for mm. genuinely like make mistakes and you yeah. like man i'm telling you don't yeah. do that so, yeah. but, yeah, for sure. but they like nah i mean it's the way i'm like all right let's start yeah. <laughs> like go ahead come on let's do it yeah and then you like i told you you yeah. know what i'm saying I went through this shit. like yeah like it's, it's it really is like a self-mirroring type of thing like it's hard to explain to a person that hey i'm you're looking at I'm looking at myself like yeah, I'm. Sure. I'm not just saying this shit for no reason. Yeah, like, yeah, man. That's you know what I'm saying? saying? I had two young, younger uh, artists on here, man. Shout out to New Wave Day producer and my boy um, Big Foule. Yeah, I was telling them like I seen where they was headed, and and at 2019, like I'm like, damn, y'all doing some shit. Like y'all got yeah. your head on right. At that age, I was just thinking about coming to one of y'all clubs and fucking some hoes. Like you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> <laughs> Facts. You know what I'm saying? So Facts. I, was, I wasn't thinking about Facts. okay, I want to have this set up for when I'm. Thirty now, I like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I was I was thinking about right now. Yeah, where right now. Yeah, yeah. Who will be at St. Andrews and yeah. Plan B? <laughs> and who That's can, funny. Who yeah. can I take to the crib, dog? Yeah, facts. My mama facts. Care about that shit. Facts. <laughs> yeah, so shout out to everybody with their head on, man. Yeah, for sure. What, what's some shit that you learned about yourself though? Like, like you, you know, just this year, man. Like, damn, like something you might be capable of that you didn't know that you, you know, what I'm saying could handle or do. Um, I learned that I am uh. My, my 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 strength is I'm gaining a strength and really not giving a fuck. Like I yeah. I, I realize what fears are. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Sure. Like like I mean, you be surprised, bro. Like it's like because I've seen this. Like it's re life is really about how everybody perceives it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? For like sure. like anything that you learn, like like even like sitting at this table, it's like yeah. somebody say it's a bar, somebody be it's a table. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah. it's just about what you look. It's about how you look at it, right? Mm -hmm. So for me and shit in this rap shit, it's like. I'm learning that nigga fears. Yeah. People have fears. Hell yeah. It, niggas don't really get in arguments. Yeah, 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 yeah. Niggas just be having different fears. Yeah, for sure, for sure. So it's like it's like when you look at it like that, it's like, oh, yeah, nigga, <laughs> you're not like disagreeing with me. Yeah, you're just scared to yeah. do what I'm doing. For sure, no, fast. And Hell I yeah. and I might be scared to do what you're saying, though. Yeah, yeah. So that's like the 
that's the that's the thing I'm, I'm learning like nigga like fears is like real and I've learned how to cut that shit completely like yeah. I don't fear shit so no more so you just jumping in head it's, first it's like, like whatever yeah. like, it, but 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 no it's not even that it's just that like if a person is wrong mm. I'm not scared to fail with a person yeah you know, sure. even though even though I want to win with you yeah but if we gonna fail, fuck it. Come on, <laughs> fuck I don't fail before. I, don't, I, I know exactly how this shit about to feel. Hell yeah, man. Like so you ain't teaching me. Nothing. Like it's it's deep, dog. It's like no, for sure, for sure. Yeah, dog. Hell yeah, and niggas do be niggas scared. It's of all failure. fears, bro. I'm telling you, it's yeah. all fears. Like man, whatever, yeah. whatever. This thing about in your life, like later on today, like whatever you like thinking of some shit, and like you like, man, I don't want to go over there. Like yeah. it's a reason. Like <laughs> yeah, for sure. It's Hell like yeah. oh, you got a fear to do that shit. Yeah. Like hey, man. Speaking of fear, man, I've been asking a lot of people this question, man, just because I heard it. Um. I forgot where I heard it from, man. I'm just real curious that people are going to even answer the question. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how thug you are, but when's the last time you cried, dog? Cry? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't gonna ever go to a podcast and answer that shit, dog. Yeah. <laughs> I think it was great. Like, what are you uh, <laughs> Um, I haven't cried in a very long time. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that's funny. Duh. That's funny because I'm thinking about people who cried for me before, yeah. like maybe a, a girl or something. Oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody, yeah. Everybody cried <laughs> for a girl though. Facts. Yeah, every, I'm yeah. talking about. I'm talking about uh, like maybe yesterday. Maybe a girl might have cried oh, okay, to me. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, sure. oh shit, wait a minute, man, what you crying for? Yeah, yeah. Nah, but uh, I hear when niggas cry with, uh, uh, with, around me. I don't know what to do. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be alright. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's like, I ain't that type of person. I, you, you know, know what's? Cr- I don't. I don't. I don't know how to hug. Yeah. I don't know how to like. <laughs> I don't have that because I'm adopted, so I don't have that. Like my mm. mom was telling me that shit. Like she was like, "Yeah, I wish it was. I wish I was more like emotional with you and all this yeah. shit." Because I don't have that element. Like, yeah, for sure. like the women I deal with, like they'd be like, "Damn, man, I wish you would cuddle. Or I wish you would." <laughs> and I'm like, I'm not trying to be hard. I just yeah. don't just get don't off do me. Give my space. Yeah. What the fuck wrong with you? Like, yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, like it's deep. That shit get deep. Hell yeah. But I, mean, I haven't cried in you know, quite some time. Damn man, yeah. <laughs> I actually cry by my. But when I do, I, it's by myself though. Okay. okay. And that's yeah. about probably like, thinking about like someone a loved one like about yeah. to leave or something or, hell yeah, yeah. Man, yeah cause I was mad as hell my son saw me cry for the first time when Kobe died dog <laughs> oh, I yeah. cried dog I, I think I cried when Kobe yeah. died I did yeah. the hardest nigga yeah. cried when Kobe died yeah dog. I cried for, for sure yeah so you're like, not human if you don't cry with Kobe I see Kobe everybody died. doing a little tribute man I'm like damn this shit hit me I just thought about how they, when they told me how he died, like yeah, trying to grab his daughter, son, man, I and that. I just had my daughter. I'm like, oh, bitch. oh yeah, that shit fuck you up, this yeah, fucked up. Yeah, man, you gotta think he like. I mean, sobbing, nigga. Yeah, I was like, boo hoo, nigga. Me like, too. Like, <laughs> like I was like, what the, like what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> uh, my son came that bitch. I'm like, don't get your ass on. <laughs> Peace, this nigga. Okay, he told me cry, dog. Yeah, but no, cause start thinking like you start thinking about his last moment. How he know this is it? Yeah. The only thing I can do is just hold my daughter. And hold my daughter and try to hope that she don't die. I don't know. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. That shit. Shout out to Kobe, man. Rest in peace, man. Him and everybody on that plane. Yeah. I was doing this show, man. I, I looked on my phone like, oh, TMZ line. Man. And then that shit was on ESPN like, yeah. oh, hell no. Yeah. Bro. That shit hurt, man. That man. shit shut the entire week down. It did, but shit, you got to look. After that, shit, the whole world got shut Kobe. down literally. And Kobe, man. yeah. For that real, crazy. Dog. Yeah, man. Crazy shut. times. Now, uh, growing up, man, you, already, you, you just said you was adopted and stuff, man. Yeah. First, um... How did you feel when you found out? And how old were you? And um, you know, and who was in the crib <laughs> with you? Like, how was you? Like, what was the appropriate age? Like, was you mad about the, at the age that you found out, man? Nah, man, I ain't give a fuck. Yeah. Like, uh, <laughs> my daddy was a gangster, man. That nigga was crazy. Mm-hmm. I was, uh, I remember, I was, I used to go to Burton, the school called Burton. It was second grade. Yeah. So I had to be what seven. Yeah. Something like that around there. Mm-hmm. And uh. Six or seven, somewhere around there, yeah. and he just was driving. He was in the car. Cat, he had an old school Cadillac. Yeah, yeah. He was in the car, and he was just like, "Yes, you know, you know, you adopted, right?" <laughs> like, <laughs> just like popped it up. Like, yeah. and I was like, well, "Did you know what that shit mean?" Though? I don't even remember what. Yeah. I just remember not giving a fuck. Like, yeah. I because my pops is the cat. He just tells stories, yeah, yeah, yeah. so I just be like. Whatever nigga you talking about, whatever yeah, nigga, yeah, like yeah, you know what I'm saying, yeah, like whatever he talking about right now is whatever he talking about. I yeah, ain't thinking of another, but he broke it down to me like very thorough. I remember that he broke it down to me very thorough. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, explaining me what everything he knew at the time, and yeah. I was like, okay, yeah, I went to school. Yeah, like, <laughs> like, went in the like, class. When you, once you got older, did you try like did you reach out to your real parents or try to figure out who they were? Uh, no, I I I've dated girls before that tried to do that shit for me, but. Yeah. I never tried to. I never. I, I ain't really care. I, I mean, say, yeah, but yeah. I, I care now because of health reasons. Like I want to make sure. You know what's going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah you know yeah, what I'm saying. So, yeah, yeah, that type of shit. But damn, you never know who you could be related to, dog. Never know. Shit, this, y'all could be cool. Well, you know what? You know, so, so that's crazy. You asked me. That's funny. <laughs> <You good? laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
So what's funny is, I swear this is a lot. It's ironic you asked me that question because I pro- I'm not making this up. He literally just told me like two days ago or something like, see my pops. You gotta understand my pops is a wild guy, dog. Like yeah. he like, <laughs> he just he he's a, he just lives in his own world and yeah. doesn't realize sometimes how it affects other people. Sure. But he uh he basically told me that. <laughs> He was telling me about my parents and shit like the other day. Like we we have we haven't talked about this in twenty plus years. Yeah. I promise you. Like <laughs> like and then randomly like two days ago he was just like because he was out of town. He was like, yeah, you know, uh, something about you know just you know make sure that you you know eating good. And ooh, ooh. Yeah. He was like he was like you know your daddy was big. You know. Yeah. I was like wait what? <laughs> like nigga you know who my daddy was? <laughs> like he was like well yeah he was a wrestler and all this other stuff. I was like wrestler what the fuck are we talking about? <laughs> Like this, I, I, bro. I'm in my thirties. He just now sprung his on me. Yeah. I'm like, bro, what the fuck? This yeah. shit is crazy. Like, yeah. yeah so I, I know that now. Yeah. My pops, whoever my pops is, he was a wrestler, that nigga's a wrestler. So Damn. now all the fucking jokes can fly because yeah. they about to. Yeah, dog. A whole bunch of jokes. Oh like yeah, man. I done heard all type of fat wrestling jokes. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, was he? Do you know if he went big with it? Or just uh, I don't know that. Yeah. I, I, and then, and I know the one thing I remember when I was a kid. He told me that my mom was a hooper. Yeah. And he was like, yeah, she was like a dog-ass hooper. Yeah. But then the other day ago, I told you, he told me my pops, he was like, yeah, she she hooped, yeah. but she was a big girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that means she was like like the, the big girl hooper. Like, yeah. she wasn't really, she probably ain't go that far, because you got to be slimmer to be, yeah. I don't see no big girls in the NBA, in the WNBA. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. 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 Uh, damn. I'm just like, I'm thinking like Queen Latifah type size, like type of, <laughs> you know yeah. what I'm saying? So now I'm just like, damn, like both... I'm just that's gonna be big, huh? Duh, that's I'm trying crazy. to lose this shit. Damn, that's crazy. <laughs> My <laughs> eyes ain't against yeah, me. Your yeah, yeah, pops a wrestler, cuz like that. Yeah, that's why. Man, not a wrestler and a hooper. That's crazy. Who? Yeah, that's a crazy combination. Duh. Yeah. Who, who was in the, Who was in the crib with y'all, man? Uh, with me? Yeah, as far as like growing up, man, you did you? Have, I like, was I was the only child. Mm-hmm. I was the only child, but the block I stayed on. Mm-hmm. Like literally, the block I said, like the ten houses on them or the twenty houses on on the block, like nigga, it had to be like. 50 kids yeah. like it was crazy so like i all like my one of my closest friends was uh uh stefan okay. little stuff stefan shelton and uh his he had five brothers four brothers yeah. and uh he was five and um yeah nigga like i used to be over there and like that was like my family like my yeah, second family too sure. you know what i'm saying yeah. so Hell yeah, though. But yeah, now, in my house, I was by myself. Now, with you being in music, bro, a lot of times we got musical influences from what we hear our parents listen to and shit. Like, like our first favorite, whoever, rapper, singer, is because of them until we get our own ear for music. Yeah. So, who are some people you was just rocking with just based off your, your moms or your pops or whatever, dog? Oh, my mom used to play. Well, I used to think I was Michael Jackson. Yeah. That's everybody that was, you know, whatever, in the 90s. But um, my mom used to blast Boys the Men, yeah. Mariah Carey, and Whitney Houston. I remember that like distinctively. Like she used mm-hmm. to play that shit out, and uh, yeah, that's how I remember. I remember, yeah, I was, I once Michael Jackson and MC Hammer. Yeah. I was more so on some uh, like just straight Busta Rhymes, yeah. Wu Tang. Yeah, I went straight into sure. rap. Hell yeah. I jumped in rap real early, like yeah. second grade. No, <laughs> like, I, I, I see you because I know you said you um you started a, a, a group, man, second grade, man. Third grade, Th- yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. A second grade, uh, a group had performed for the talent show. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. And that my just, boy Wood, Charlie that, Mack. And that, just, that, that just had you hooked right there. Man, the bitches went crazy for my nigga. <laughs> and I was like, yo, I this is the only way I'm about to get bit. I can see it right now. This yeah. is the way of me getting bitches. Duh. So. Funny as hell, man. <laughs> now, uh, Ms. Stay, stay on that, man, as far as like rap and shit, though. Who was your first favorite rapper? Like the real answer, not the cool mm-hmm. answer. Oh no, Buster Rhymes. Buster Rhymes. Buster Rhymes was my idol. I can see, I can see him, him being, you being influenced by him, man. Through your yeah, music. I, yeah, because I, well, I used to. The thing was, I used to try to perform like him. You know what I'm saying? I've I've slowed down now because yeah. I'm older, but yeah. I like when I'm younger, I used to try to perform like Buster Rhymes. I want the hair. I, I grew my hair out. I was, I was trying to be Buster Rhymes. Yeah, yeah. Hell flip no. mode squad. Hell no, dog. That's crazy. Damn. Yeah, I can see that shit for sure. Buster Rhymes definitely a legend out here, man. Probably yeah. one of the best performers ever too. Yeah, yeah, facts. No. He just want to be in my world last night, low key. Hell yeah, I just saw that shit. I saw yeah. you post that jump, man. I saw yeah. you post that shit. Now, uh, would you, would you, you know, saying you say yo, yo, your real pops was a wrestler. Yeah, you I just found it out two days ago, by the way. Yeah. What's something that you wanted to be growing up that you never told nobody? It was kind of crazy. That was crazy. Like me, I wanted to tap dance, dog. Tap dance. Yeah, I saw Gregory Hines, dog, go on tap. I'm like, damn. 
Yeah. I want to learn how to tap dance and shit, dog. Yeah, I never wanted to tap. My my pops love tap. Yeah. And that nigga looks like Gregory Hines, <laughs> which is funny. So I used to just like never like Gregory Hines because I used to just cook the fuck out of the niggas. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> nah, tapping. Yeah, my pops, my parents, both my parents are dancers. Okay. My okay. mom was a dancer. My pops is a tap dancer and shit okay, like that. Okay, that's, that's dope. Hell yeah. So um. So it wasn't wild shit that you wanted to beat up? Uh, no, nah, I had no wild shit. Just football, rap, yeah, um, basketball, yeah, typical yeah. shit. Yeah, for sure. Hell yeah, though. Yeah, I want to tap that. I, I want to be no. a motherfucking karate kid and shit. In that bitch, dog. <laughs> Everything. That's, that's crazy. Little, little ninja outfit <laughs> on that bitch, dog. <laughs> <laughs> hell no, dog. What's a, what's an album or a song, dog, that take you back to a time like clear as day? Like every time you hear this song or this album, you know exactly where you was at. If it was Keisha, you, you mess around with like like just hmm. the time in, in life and shit, dog. Uh man, album or song? I would say Boys the Men. Okay. That Boys the Men. Uh, what album was that? The one with the big two sign that looked like a uh, the movie sign. Yeah, yeah. That was on the album cover. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's that album right there. It's crazy to me still. Like, yeah. Um, I cannot remember the name. Of it. it might have been called Boys the Men or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but that should take you back to them them days. That was the one. That, yeah. Now, gee, how old you when that shit? You got to be like super young. I was, but I was just into it. Like, <laughs> got that I, was into it. <laughs> I was into it. Yeah. H Town too. H Town. H Town. Yeah, I was yeah. second grade. H Town had a little girl Danielle. I had a crush on, <laughs> and I was just trying to figure out how to kiss her. Yeah. And duh. yeah, man, we, See, was, we was freaky kids. You said you trying to figure out how to kiss her. I was trying to avoid this shit because they used to laugh at me, bro. Yeah, I, I feel you. I feel by you. This girl named Dominique, dog. We yeah. was in first grade, Miss Hope class. And we was waiting. You know how you go in and to the, they, t- they take the whole class to the bathroom? Yeah. You be in line, dog. She turned around and kissed me crazy. on my cheek, dog. I'm like, dog. Yeah. These niggas like, oh, she kissed Rashad. I'm like, man. I'm mad as hell, dog. Like, damn, she kissed me in front of everybody, dog. Niggas clowning me and shit. Yeah. And later on, niggas trying to kiss Dude, they, they try to eat ass. Like, yeah, I did. Like, I love kissing shit. Right. Duh, hell yeah, up, that's man. funny. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a good boys to men, man. Now, yeah. um, you said you was uh, you was into football heavy, man. Yeah. I know you uh you got scholarship, but you lie on your ACTs and shit, man. Yeah, I lied. <laughs> uh, you know, I forgot I lied. Because I, I was just thinking, because the school, it was like a white school. So I was like, mm, these white niggas don't give a fuck about me. I'm about to lie to these white niggas. Like, yeah. <laughs> I, so I, I, there's no respect. You know yeah, what I'm saying? So. Sure. Yeah, it ended up biting me in the ass because I actually my first year in camp and shit, I went, I did really, really well, and they wanted to start me. Yeah. And then they was like, "Damn, man, you starting next week, but we can't because mm-hmm. you got, but we'll keep your scholarship and everything for sure because you bought out." Yeah, I was yeah. Like, okay, cool. Damn, though. What, what, what position you play? D line. D line. Yeah. So you like, like coming up, you had like them. I'm going to the NFL dreams. And shit. Warren Sapp. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. See, speaking of, so you said you put the wrong number on that bitch as far as your ACT. ACT. Yeah. I think I remember I was like 14, 15 trying to get a job, putting the wrong social on that bitch. I like, just put numbers down. <laughs> I'm just putting numbers down, nigga. That's probably yeah. why I ain't get no job. <laughs> just putting that shit like, look, I'm putting yeah, dog. Damn, man. <laughs> and did you say you wind up uh, going to Eastern? After that, uh, yeah, after that, I ended up going to Eastern. I came back to Michigan. I got injured down there. Really, I got I was so I was like I, I get in an argument with my home. I got a producer named Kelvin. Okay. He's a dickhead, by the way. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> he uh he swears so he can't. He's young. You're younger, so he came the year after me. Okay. So his his memory of my college football years are completely different yeah, yeah, yeah. than what I'm trying to tell him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so when I walked when I came in my freshman year, I did really really well, and like I said, I was about to start everything with whoop, yeah, yeah. and I couldn't because of the ACT thing, so I had to be on scout team, okay, practice team. Yeah, okay, cool. But I still was I was busting niggas' asses in practice on some fun shit, yeah. pissing niggas off. Yeah, yeah, damn. I can't so, play with I'm better. Yeah, facts. But then fucking around, I tore my ACL. Yeah. At the end of the season, tore my ACL okay. on scout team type shit. Yeah. So I'm like, fuck. Now, this is the first injury I ever had in my life, ever. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So I got to rehab it. You know what I'm saying? But but I'm trying to rehab it. And I remember when it happened, like, when I, I was trying to tell Kevin, like, on campus, I, this is on my kids. Mm. Bro, I was like a god. Yeah. Like, on okay, like <laughs> it's sure. crazy how to, how they treat you yeah. when they think that you're like the you're big shit. thing. Yeah, yeah, shit, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And my school, it was a small school. It wasn't like no, it wasn't like no Ohio State type shit. Yeah, but yeah. It, but it was it, it was it had a respectable new coaching staff that just came in. It was first established, mm-hmm. and they had a new coaching staff. I mean, the, new, the coaching staff was from another school. Tried okay. something. Yeah. I can't remember, but uh, they had a lot of respect in the, in, in, the, in the division, yeah. and um. Yeah, man, they was like on my dick. Like all the, all the football players, 
used to say I'm the I'm coach's pet type yeah, shit, like because sure, they sure. loved me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I got injured, and that shit left. It was over. Damn. Yeah, and I was like, damn, why ain't y'all fucking with me no more? Like, <laughs> what the fuck going on? Yeah. So, um, yeah, I had another injury. I had like a chest. I was bench pressing. Had a chest injury. Yeah. I, I just caught some injuries on the off season, and then and, it wasn't the same yeah, when spring get, ball came around. Yeah, you couldn't get back right. And they wasn't treating me the same. Yeah, they yeah. was treating me like I was different. Yeah. yeah like, so yeah. I didn't have like a mentor that that told me like, because I know this now. Yeah. Nigga, you supposed to stuck that shit out. Yeah, for sure. Like that 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 happens. That's yeah. just in life. You yeah, know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, 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 like yeah. when you no longer when, when you might not be as valuable, yeah. your value goes down. That's for just sure. you know what I'm saying. No, it's it's not it. personal. Yeah, just it's how business. it is. So. I didn't have nobody to, to tell me that shit. And I called Attitude and jumped in the streets. Like, yeah, fuck that shit. Out there, <laughs> came back. back to Detroit, huh? Came back to Detroit. Damn. I was down there thugging up. Came back to Detroit. Yeah. Like, fuck it, man. Yeah. Now, how was you in high school, though? Because you went to a rival uh, high school of uh, my producers and shit, man. Oh, yeah, I went to King. <laughs> oh, man. That's yeah. so fucking sad, bro. Duh, yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> with that, good, that good cast, that good cast <laughs> take, man. So, funny part about Cast King, I'm, I'm actually trying to do a documentary on it now. No, that'd be dope, though. Nigga. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying to do like I, I, a Real, sure. yeah, yeah. My pops started the rivalry. Okay, okay. So talk about that he, shit. With, with, with Reynolds, yeah. yeah, Coach Reynolds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah him and them, him, my pops. Cause my pops was the first coach at cast to do back to back championships. Yeah. My pops used to bust Reynolds' ass. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Recipes Reynolds, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, no yeah, disrespect. Yeah, yeah. He's a legend. Come yeah, on, let's, yeah, for let's, sure, let's sure. call it what it is. Yeah. But nah, um, yeah, but <laughs> my pops is funny, dog. <laughs> dog. <laughs> so he started the whole beef and shit. Yeah, he started, yeah, him. And <laughs> <laughs> Fuck uh, but we, yeah, we trying to put that shit together. You no, know that'd be, no, that'd be dope. I'm surprised they haven't been so. Yeah, I, I, bro, I've been working on this shit for like five years. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I'm like. Now, I, every year I'm like, fuck, man. I know somebody's going to steal this shit. Yeah, but, yeah, you got to jump on that shit. When yeah. You, you, you stamped it out. So but, like, I mean, you got to have my pops in it if you're going to do it. For sure, yeah. So that's why I'm like, I got kind of leverage. Like, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he was from the beginning and shit. Yeah, though. like, you know what I'm saying? He started yeah. the cast King yeah, Rivalry. Wow, so. I never even thought. Because that's the biggest beef in the that's city. That's the biggest for, beef in the yeah, city. Yeah, as far as high school rivalries and yeah. shit. Though. That's like <laughs> to Michigan, this day. Yeah, it's like Michigan, Michigan State. That's what, fuck, um, this happened in 91, 90, 90 or something like that. Yeah. So, nigga, 30 years. Yeah, for sure. Hell yeah. Like, what Hell, the fuck? All, but all, one thing I hate about Cavs people is they, they all fans of the school that I hate, Michigan State. For the most, it's like King is Michigan. Cass, Michigan State. For the I most can part. see that. I love Michigan State. So that's, yeah, see, I, hate I mean, State. that's that's pretty accurate. I guess. That's, I don't know it's, it's that green and white, green, man. Yeah, yep, it's that green and white. Green, man. Had yeah. to be green, man. Damn. But shout out to everybody who went to King Cass, man. I went to fucking yeah. fucking Southeastern, man. Fuck yeah, the, fuck yeah. Y'all, <laughs> y'all cut a good, y'all cut a good stride though when niggas graduated. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But. <laughs> Yeah, that shit got better because we had got Miss Gatlin who was over there at Cam. Yep, Miss Gatlin, yep. And she came over to be Damn, our principal. Yep, be the principal. Yep, Brenda Gl Gatlin. Like, yep. She was a fucking legend, dog. Yep. She came in that bitch with that bullhorn. Yeah. <laughs> Niggas clear ways, dog. Like, oh, come, little lady had everybody shook, though, dog. Yeah, dog. She wasn't going to play with. Hell yeah. Now, yeah. man, I know you say as far as um, with the music, man, go back to second grade, you seeing the talent show, you wanted to do the shit yeah. for the hoes and shit, man. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Everything is about the hoes, though, dog. Everything in life is for the hoes. Everything, everything you do. Yeah. Like, Cause it wasn't hoes on, on we just be this bitch spanking. Yeah. This podcast right now, <laughs> yeah. like we're we're hoping that the hoes just tune in. Like, please, just hoes, if you're listening, please no, tap no, in. It's all about the women, dog. But um, uh, yo, um, with your music, man, was your first album uh, quality over quantity with uh, Lil Bossy? Ah, damn, he did research. <laughs> Sheesh. That was like what, 2010? Man, I was, yeah, I was like <laughs> 09, 08, something like that. So yeah, yeah. that was, so yeah, it really was, uh, I got a homeboy named uh, Lil Bossy yeah. and, uh, from Akron, Ohio. Okay. I played ball with him when I went to school. So that's how y'all met, okay. Yeah, so, um, you know, after we both quit at the same time, like, with this yeah. shit alone, yeah. and I uh, was doing other shit, and. Uh yeah man we had he was he had a little he was down there hustling shit he had a little run going and you know what I'm saying I was about to join with him and fucking he went he got pension got yeah. locked up not yeah. on no hustling shit he got locked up he got locked up on some crazy shit he uh he was trying to buy a car yeah it was like an old school cutlass or something like that okay and his pops is a mechanic yeah. so he asked his pops hey man let's go check can you come check this car with me make sure I'm not getting a lemon yeah for sure and uh they went to go check the car out. His pops was like, nah, I don't buy that car. And they was from some Chaldean dude down there or whatever at this shop. Mm. And so he was like, oh, yeah, I don't want the car no more. So the Chaldeans started going off on his pops. Yeah. Going crazy Still on the nigga. Yeah. Started tripping on the nigga. So boss, he if you know boss, he's that nigga don't got it all. Yeah. Nigga. Yeah. And the, the slightest 
bit of I literally was in the no, I don't know. Look, <laughs> the slightest bit of disrespect to the boss. It's a wrap. And he just you know what I'm saying? He, he's a lot calmer now, but yeah. Yeah, that's just how he was. And nigga, they, I guess the dude said whatever to his pops. And that nigga beat the brakes off this nigga. Damn. And, um, and then I guess the dude called the police and then had him had him go find him and shit. But, yeah, yeah. So he had a warrant out and he eventually got caught, you know what I'm saying, or whatever. But yeah, that's why he went to jail. He had to do like six years for that. Damn. He did six years for that. That's wild as hell. For a fight. Yeah, that's wild, bro. Fighting a man who disrespected his pops. And the nigga punched back. He wasn't like... It was like, yeah, he just beat yeah, the Yeah, he, just, he no just got your ass beat. It was a like, fight, yeah. It was a fight. One-on-one -on -one fight. There wasn't no jumping. Yeah, wasn't fight. no yeah, knife. Wasn't wild. no gun. Damn. Akron, Ohio. Man, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah. 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 Them That's niggas. Because down here, nigga, shit, the nigga would say, hey, man, go home. Bro, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Don't come back here no more, like, nigga. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, that's it, dog. Bro, like, so yeah. He, do he still do music? Uh, he he tap he a little bit, but so actually, so that's so he did he had a ten year sentence. He did six. Okay. Came back home, got in trouble with some other shit, and had to do another four. Yeah. And uh, he's out now. Mm -hmm. He just got out now, and he has a um a training. Uh, he has a gym. Okay. In Akron, uh, Akron, okay. Ohio, he has a that's gym dope. down there, and he's running. It's going like he he was always like an in shape ass, yeah, 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 yeah. super. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. At the exercise. I mean, what, what's the uh the, what movie is that? Is that a TV show where the Terrence Crews, oh, Terry oh, Crews Terry Crews was going oh, crazy. Yeah, 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 dog. Yeah. <laughs> That's boss, nigga. Like, <laughs> like, nigga, relax, bro. The nigga stole for like, no reason. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah dog. <laughs> That's now, my nigga, dog. That, that, that tape, did you just think, okay, we taking off. We about to get sound right Man, now. Man, nah, I thought the tape was going to go crazy because he had a run going in the streets. And yeah. it was like... He had a buzz going on the streets, and we had some money coming in. Yeah. And I was like, man, it's about to go now. Yeah. And then he went to fucking jail. Damn. And I was left with it by myself. And, and I ain't had no money. Yeah. <laughs> and y'all had what, Drunken Master play your song, Hit Like That, man. Yeah, so I had a song called Hit Like Before That. And I put that shit on there, I think, on the tape. Yeah. And uh, Drunken Master used to, used, to, used to DJ at the Brass Key, the strip club on the west side. Mm. Rat Hole, from what yeah. I know. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, 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 I'm yeah. Fucking, yeah, fuck them. Man, rat Hole. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna tell you why I say fuck them, but so I went in there and shit. I guess at the time I think dude passed now actually, mm. but I guess at the time it was owned by a politician okay. in the city, so somebody from city council, or something like that. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I went up there. I, I don't drink, I don't smoke. Mm. So I went up there, and I'm tapping like they had like I went up there early and shit because at the time I, I'm with a crew, but these niggas is like lazy man. Yeah, they just have the crib. Yeah, 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 you know what I'm saying? I'm like, bro, let's go out and mob. Let's go do this shit. And niggas just don't want to do shit. Yeah. So I'm like, fuck it. I'm going. So I was the nigga in the crew that just went by What's himself. Yeah. So I went to like a bunch of area, like a bunch of different clubs. Back when Seven Mile, Eight Mile was beefing and shit. I went to yeah, yeah, Eight Mile clubs. Thinking like, yeah. fuck it, by myself. Yeah. I swear, niggas was looking at me crazy as hell. Yeah. But I mean, my point is, uh, so Brass Key was one of the spots that I went to. And they had a slit on the door. Yeah. Like, so I banged on the door. They had a slit. <laughs> they had a pop. And the nigga look at the like, who was that? <laughs> and I'm like, first off, nigga, aren't you open? Like, <laughs> what the fuck yeah. you mean? Who was that? A nigga, customer, nigga. nigga. The crib, nigga. What yeah. the fuck is this? This is like, it's not a like, this is not a low key spot. This is like, you yeah. have a big ass it's sign. A bar, nigga. Yeah. yeah. So I'm like, whatever, bro. I'm like, yeah, man, Oba. He's like, who the fuck is Oba? <laughs> uh, at the time, I think I went about money be rolling or something like that. Yeah. So I was like, yeah, whatever I said. Yeah. So anyways, I was like, man, I'm here to see DJ. He was like, you know, whatever. He was like, man, I don't know. I'm going to go get him. Yeah. So that's when Drunk Mask came to the door with the slit, too. What's yeah, up? Yeah. What's up? Who's that? <laughs> I'm, no, like, no. I'm like, man, you don't know me, man, but I got this CD, man. Just, you know what I'm saying? Check it out, man. Spin it for me, man. Or just, just check it out and then call the number on there. Let me know, whatever, whatever. Yeah. And he was like, all right. Take and then he took it, and I ain't hear nothing from him for like a couple months. Yeah. And I went again. Yeah. Like, fuck it, I'm just going to go back again. I should have yeah. probably went a week later. Hell yeah. But I, I waited some months and yeah. shit. I went back sure. again. Well, yeah. <laughs> I went back again, and he was like, oh, yeah, yeah. I, I, same thing. Like, I slid through the little slit. And he, they wouldn't let me in. And I, what I learned was, because I'm not a strip club nigga. Yeah. What I learned was, I was coming too early. Yeah. I was going at like 7 o'clock. Yeah, the whole like, thing prepared. You know what I'm saying? So they looking at me like, who the fuck is this? Nigga, like, you work here, nigga? What do you want? I'm thinking that the place is open 24-7. Like the fucking movies, you know what I'm saying? You got like, the daytime get left there. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, Detroit wasn't that civilized at the time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And uh, <laughs> I had gave, I, once again, I gave my shit through a slit. And I think... Uh, I forgot to put my number on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what that's what happened. Ended up happening because the third time I went, yeah, they sure. were open. Yeah, 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 I went with my boy Don G, and we went in there, and that's when I got into it with the politician because yeah. he was the owner, or whatever. Because he was saying it was a 
uh, what's it called? A, a drink, two drink minimum or some shit. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck that yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't drink or smoke. For sure, yeah, so you know what the fuck. I'm that 19, is. nigga. I don't know what the yeah. fuck we talk. I don't, or 20. I don't know. How, I was like, I don't know what the fuck that is. What's yeah. the, like, nigga? So uh, he was saying this shit like, yeah, man. You know, he was saying, yeah, you gotta, you gotta drink, you gotta get two drinks. I was like, oh no, no. I was like, I was like, no, no, no. I don't drink, man. My bad. <laughs> I'm good. Like, I'm being so polite because he's an older nigga. Yeah. It's not even like a nigga that I can like. He's like an old man, yeah. so I'm like trying to be like, oh no, sir, it's no, all right. Yeah, I'm good. You know what I'm saying? Thank you, thank you, thank you <laughs> I'm talking much. to this nigga proper as hell. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> I should have man got on his ass, no homo. But yeah. no, nah, nigga. Uh, yeah, he was like, the nigga was like, I, the nigga, I forgot what the fuck he did. He was like, he threw something. On the ground or something, he was like, "No, nigga, yeah. I said, yeah, nigga, you gonna get, you gonna get the fuck out." Yeah, and I was like, "Wait, what? Wait, what? What <laughs> yeah. just happened?" Like the music, you gotta think the music's blasting. Yeah, so I'm not even think, I, cause I'm, 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 now that I'm replaying it, I was hoeing the fuck out of him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause I was like, "Nah, man, I don't know. I, no, I'm, I'm, I'm good, man. I'm good. I'm calm. I'm drunk." Yeah. Go back to my conversation. Yeah, 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 for sure. And the nigga was like, "Nigga, I'm talking to you. Like, what the, I'm not telling. This not a. Yeah, this ain't no request. Yeah, yeah, nigga. Yeah, nigga this is what you got to do. Yeah. So the bouncers and shit came up, and I'm looking at him like, I don't, "What do you want me to do?" Yeah. <laughs> like, he was like, "It's a two drink minimum." So the waitress was like, "I was like, baby, I don't drink. What, I, what the fuck? Do yeah. I, what yeah. you want me to get?" Yeah. And she was just like. Oh no, no, what he's saying? She broke it down to me. The girl broke it down to me. He was like, yeah, yeah, what he's saying is you gotta buy two drinks yeah. because it's mandatory if you come in the club. For sure. Because the club wasn't doing shit. Yeah, yeah, Weak yeah, ass yeah. fucking club. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> <Duh. laughs> councilman taking that bitch. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm <laughs> trying to hold me, nigga. Duh. The fuck? Man. I'm a fucking baby, man. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what the fuck you talking about, dog. God damn, man. Nah, but but <laughs> yeah, the niggas. Uh, so I, I paid the shit. I bought like two orange juices and some shit. <laughs> <laughs> and and then I then I asked drunk I said you want something I got him like a beer or some shit yeah. and and I told I, I went up to the booth and I was like yeah man I'm back to see you man he was like oh okay yeah. I was like yeah man I'm over man or uh, money whatever I was going by yeah. and uh I was like man I gave you the CD man like two times already and I, I ain't heard back from you so yeah, yeah, yeah. I said fuck it I'm gonna see you in person yeah. and he was like oh okay 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 and he was like I was like man listen man if you can play for me I threw him a couple dollars or whatever if you can play for me bro like I promise if it's whack. Toss that bitch across the stage, bro. Yeah, yeah, say, get sure. the, and y'all can kick me out. Y'all can beat my ass, kick me out. <laughs> you got all the confidence. I say, come bro, on. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I say, bro, if you play this record, you're going to look at me differently. I'm telling you. For sure. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. that nigga was like, all right, whatever. All right, man, I hear you, bro. All yeah. right, I hear you. And he, I sat around for a minute. He wasn't playing it. And boom, he ended up playing it. Yeah. And he was like, hey, come here. He played that shit, and that bitch got the rocket. Yeah, niggas going crazy. I mean, like, it, it wasn't nobody in there, but it was yeah. the girls. The, it was a lot of girls in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The girls. The girl that was on stage was like, this ain't my song when it first came on. Yeah. This ain't my song. He was like, bitch, dance. Yeah, yeah, bitch, yeah. Bitch, dance. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, shit. She about to hold me. And she got the going. She was like, I like this. She was like, I like this. This shit hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nigga, yeah. I'm, that and bitch got get, the yeah, rocket. Once you get the stripper. Get the oh, nigga, it was the over. Rap. So then, then, then he was like, nigga. He was like, nigga, this you? I was yeah. like, yeah. He was like, nigga, I didn't know this shit. Nigga, we've been playing this shit for the past three months. Yeah, for sure. He was like, nigga, this is like one of the rec biggest records in the strip club right now. We've been playing for the past three months. I didn't know it was you. Yeah. All my little DJ homies just shouting, passing around. Ain't and got no information on that motherfucker. And I ain't had no, I ain't had no fucking number or nothing on the yeah, shit. Duh. On some retarded shit. That's almost like my story, man. But it was it was nowhere near as successful as yours. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to get my shit to Al Newt. That nigga never called back. I'm like, yeah. Shout out Al Newt. I had my email. I had my email address and phone number. <laughs> I took that bitch to St. Andrews, though. We had 10 CDs, dog. Me and my nigga Red is passing bitches out. Yeah. Motherfucker called me and told me how trash I was, dog. Some random. <laughs> like, nigga, this Nigga, so I, he my voice. Al Newt did? No, no. Oh, some okay. random nigga. So oh, this nigga, that's went, hilarious. No, they let the phone ring all the oh, time. Oh, we need to find that guy. <laughs> That no. guy is important <laughs> in your life. That is insane. Duh. That nigga left a voicemail. So he let that shit ring six times. I like, dog, this I wake up and shit, you know what I'm saying? Morning time, I'm stressing out. That nigga like, dog, that shit was ass. Niggas keep rapping. Like, that nigga cussing me out on this bitch, dog. <laughs> I'm hurt, nigga, like. I'm so mad I never done that to somebody, dog. <laughs> 
Now, listen, if you are on the streets and you trying to give me your CD, I promise to God I'm taking all CDs now because of this story. Duh, that and nigga, I'm calling the fuck out of you duh, just because you gave me a nigga, CD. Nigga, hold me, bro. <laughs> nigga, left a whole voicemail. Fuck my whole day or two. Like, That's crazy. I, 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 I had red CDs. I know how that shit will have some red CDs. Whoever bro. that nigga, that nigga's a legend, duh, whoever that nigga I is. I know he is too, dog. No, that's, a, that's the Detroit, that's Detroit duh, niggas for you, dog. Nigga, fuck. See, made you, made <laughs> oh you my quit, nigga. God, dog. I'm like, dog, I got to go harder. Yeah. <laughs> Cause the old me would quit, nigga. I'm like, all right, let me go a little harder, there, dog. No, that's crazy. That's a crazy dog. story. And, and the thing about, I'm thinking about the songs that was on that shit, dog. It was trash as fuck, dog. No, that might, but you know, what you got out of that. What up? That might be one of the greatest rap stories I've ever heard <laughs> in my life. I swear, bro, bro that bro. is crazy. That shit was hilarious, dog. I'm talking about you wake up more. I was like, call me. <laughs> Nigga, nigga, that nigga, that nigga made sure he got that message to me, nigga. That nigga waited for the voicemail, like, 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 you spoke on, on on Big Sean earlier, man. Yeah. And um, you got a writing deal with him, right? Yeah, yeah. Sometimes yeah. the writers room. Yeah, you got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you ever, if Sean been saying, man, you want to tell him, come on, come on, man. But, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, but no. Pretty how, Sean. How important have you been to 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 you and just to the city as a whole? Because of course you've got motherfuckers who are always gonna talk shit about like him, Eminem, like they yeah. don't do enough. No matter how much they do, yeah. it's never enough. Never enough. So what do you think his impact been on on not just you but like the city and the whole as a whole? Um. Man, I think that two things. Sean is important to the equation because like we said earlier, like everybody had a had a had a everybody had a um a drawing, a sketch of what they thought a Detroit nigga looked like, sound like, yeah, acted like. For sure. There was no intelligence in there at all. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I'd be I'd be like <laughs> it'd be fr- <laughs> it'd be fr- not frustrating, but it's interesting that's what I'm saying. It's an interesting thing to see like people's fr- uh, opinions mm. about what they think street niggas is, yeah, for sure. or what they think uh, whoever is. You know, I used to bounce and shit, so I used to like just always every night on a and I was sober, so you know what I'm saying yeah. on a daily basis, on a nightly basis, just like watch niggas mm-hmm. and just people watch yeah. and just and, and I used to, that's another thing too. I I talk about but I used to just like watch people assume certain things. Like, even with bouncing, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, they just assume certain things. Like, they assume bouncers are broke yeah. or they don't have families or we yeah, don't like, we're like, yeah, we just all bitch ass niggas. <laughs> like, we just soft, like, <laughs> like, niggas just bully us. Like, you know, we're here to protect you. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, make sure nothing happens. <laughs> like, <laughs> but, but back on Shine, what I'm saying is he was an important equation because he, he broadcast the light of like, oh man, it's some cool ass niggas in Detroit too. For sure. Hell yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Niggas just, yeah, yeah, like, niggas that ain't. Necessarily come from crack houses, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Sure. Yeah, yeah. Like niggas got a little bit of some like civilization in for them, sure. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And uh, I mean, Sh- and Sean is like he from the way too, like you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so sure. yeah, he ain't like it's not like yeah. it's not no point extra shit at all. Like, um, I think that a lot of people assume that because of how new it was, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? And but Sean was extremely important to the equation of even ushering in me because you know I used to like I see I was. I was Sean when Sean was Sean, but I was like worse yeah. attitude wise because sure. I was in my mind. I'm like nigga, I'm I'm, I'm in the streets, nigga. Yeah, sure. Fuck yeah. you, niggas talking to like yeah. nigga. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and, and brother, I mean it was true, but it's just the fact that like it, that don't matter. Yeah, for sure, no. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. it's still about how you conduct business, for how sure. you moving out here. Day, it's a business. It's a business. Yeah, and like sure. so, I used to, it used to like behoove me like like. They used to talk so crazy about Sean, but nobody yeah. ever said no crazy shit about me. Yeah. But I'm like, nigga, I'm from the same hood either. <laughs> like, yeah, so, sure. yeah, yeah, like, yeah. what y'all think? Like, I went to cast, nigga. Like, yeah. like it's, it's just one of the things where it was just like, but but it was just a learning experience. I th- Sean is ushering in that new knowledge, that for new sure. realization. Sure. Yeah, that nigga, yeah. he, it's real niggas saying, everywhere. Yeah, he always, you know, saying, doing some shit, having motherfuckers from this city featured on albums and all that for shit. For sure. You know? so, Sean does what he can, man. I just man. feel like sometimes people expect too much. From motherfuckers, dog. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like they, they just want nigga. Oh, you made the nigga. Oh, nigga. Yeah. Sound a little baby, nigga. Yeah, sound yeah. Like yeah. Craig, nigga, Debo, all them niggas, yeah. dog. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I think that people, like I said, fears. Yeah. Earlier, you know what I'm saying? Like people have fears that that other people don't have. It's like, bro, like 
you 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 think that being real is this, yeah. and he's not scared to say no. I'm not doing that. For sure, hell yeah. And hell that's yeah. just you know what I'm saying. It's just it's like some people have, some people are like, man, if it was me, man, I'd have to put everybody on. Man, you know how hard that yeah, shit is. Yeah, it's you, nigga, and you gonna be broke. <laughs> you gonna be broke. Yeah, yeah. You gonna be fucking irritated, <laughs> nigga. High you blood you. pressure, nigga. It's a, it's a lot of shit that comes with this. Die, like, nigga, so yeah, you know so what I'm you saying. Get money away, dog. It's crazy, yeah. like. Now, uh, my first time with uh, Peep and you, dog. And you, like I said, I was living in Texas from 2012 to 2015. Yeah. So uh, it was a lifestyle. Yeah, okay. And um, you had to re you did that. You had the original version. Then you had mm -hmm. the remix with Days Loaf and uh, Rest in Peace, Des Osama. Yeah. And I bring mm -hmm. that up because, like I said, my introduction to you, and it's been seven years yesterday since he passed away. Mm -hmm. So like, how big, how big was that song to get them two on there? And how big you think he would have been if he was still alive? Man, Dex would have been fucking. He would have been. He'd have been the guy. Yeah. Um, he, I, mean, I remember he was moving around. Meek Mill was like, stamping him. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Dex. I, I mean, just because. I don't know, man. Dex was like a lot better at shit than niggas really think. Mm -hmm. He was freestyling all this shit. He was like, yeah, man. Dex was different, man. Dex was. He kind of was the gateway to like, of like what the, um, of what the Detroit street nigga looks like because at the time I would say this. Like at the time we only had M and Shine. That's it, yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So, we ain't nobody so now it's like now the streets are getting a little frustrated. Like okay, because yeah. we had Blade and all them back in the day, but I mean yep. it was just like you know, yeah. it was it, it just is what it is. But like now on a national standpoint, on a national level, like because of the internet and everything, it's mm -hmm. like nigga, Dex comes and it's like whoa, what the fuck? Yeah, like, for sure. You yeah, know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, man, I Dex was Dex would have been huge. I think. Mm -hmm. Um. It's more so more. It's more so about, you know. I wonder how he would have uh, managed his money. Mm -hmm. How he, but he would have struck it big though yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah, he would have got sure. a big. He was next. Yeah. No. He I, he really was T Grizzly before T Grizzly. Yeah. No. Fast. Fast. Yeah. Because I'm hearing him like, dog, who is this? Like. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's what something I ain't never heard that. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah. Because I was kind of late to to like rap like Detroit rap music. I ain't gonna lie. Like, yeah. And then once I moved away, I, I even like I didn't know about shit. Like I'm like, oh yeah. shit. I mean, hearing people from yeah. what niggas post on Facebook and shit. Yeah, like, yeah, oh yeah. shit, he hard. Like yeah. you know what I'm saying? So yeah. yeah. And then lifestyle, like how big of a song that was for you, man? Like yeah, lifestyle was. Uh, would you say it was your, that was your like your that was your biggest song? Um, lifestyle was my biggest song for sure. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, uh, notoriety wise for sure. Mm -hmm. Um. Probably yeah, the remix probably most selling for sure. Yeah. Um, yeah, lifestyle was like lifestyle was a journey though, man, because lifestyle got cut, like the legs got chopped off of it, mm -hmm. right? So what I mean by that is like, um, <clears throat> lifestyle was a record I had. I put out a project called West Side. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had Lifestyle before that. Okay. I and I didn't put Lifestyle on West Side. I didn't yeah. think nothing of Lifestyle. Yeah, you said it on chill, yeah. Yeah, I was just like, yeah, some shit I got. Yeah, Whatever. for sure, for sure. Like it's not really all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and um and then I put out West Side and I had Lifestyle, like I said, on the tuck. Mm. And I was like, man, after this I'm gonna just probably put out lifestyle or some shit. I don't know. For sure. <laughs> I'm just brushing it off like that. Yeah. And uh <laughs> nigga, like shit, like Yeah, it. and nigga uh, I thought West Side at the time period, I thought West Side was one of the hardest projects. So I was like, man, I'm pushing this West Side shit. For sure. And uh and I had the song really see it's crazy now that you got me thinking about it because I had the strip club shit where I told you about the drunken mass story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was really my technical first hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, cause it was going it was they said three months in, it was number one in the strip club. Yeah, yeah. Him and DJ In House. Okay. So then after that, I put out some singles, whatever, whatever. They ain't really doing like that. Mm. And then I came with this song called West Side. Mm. And that was a spinoff of uh, Maserati Money's song, East Side Niggas Fucking West Side Bitches. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that shit, I had West Side Niggas Fucking All These Bitches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the entire West Side loved it. Yeah, we going crazy. Because y'all was going, the East Side was going so crazy with this East Side song. Yeah. It was like, all right, relax. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was like, I was like the voice of like what the response would have been. So yeah. I put that out and that went crazy. But I didn't have no money for real, for real. Yeah. So I couldn't, because at the time, videos was like, shoot was video everything. with a nigga. Hell yeah. Yeah, but Niggas was charging like twenty five hundred type yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I'm getting like hundreds. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Sure. Like, yeah. I might have like twelve hundred here. Yeah, sure. You know what I'm saying? Like niggas was like yeah on it. So, anyways, my point is, um, West Side came and then 
I put out the, the uh, I put that on the West Side Project, mm. and uh, I'm thinking like, yeah, it's gonna go, it's gonna go, but it just wasn't enough yeah. motion. I had the Key Wayne song there too. Yeah. That was going crazy. That, that that's that's the third song actually, mm. uh, the Key Wayne song, and then it was a uh, lifestyle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the song you had that was a throwaway. Why the yeah going crazy? I literally was in my mama attic like, man, fuck this. I'm about to just. Cause I, I was going through something. Oh, I, with my management, I was going through something. Cause with my management, they had a. Uh, we were just we weren't seeing eye to eye. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Sure. We weren't seeing eye to eye a lot, and I was just like, man, fuck. I was just getting frustrated, and I know when I get frustrated, best thing I know I do is just start it's, creating. Yeah, yeah. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. I'm about to say, That's what I'm good at. Ass, yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I, I, I didn't never look at. They was they was family, like no, you know sure, what I'm saying. For sure, for sure. I, I I ain't that type of person against family, but my point is. uh you gotta start creating. So lifestyle was one of the songs that came from it, mm-hmm. and um, actually the, the batch of beats lifestyle was in RJ Lamont beats. It was some old ass RJ Lamont beats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And the crazy part about RJ fucking Lamont, this retarded nigga, <laughs> this nigga, we had lifestyle out. I would be at parties doing bouncing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He wouldn't play the record. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like nigga, I'm here, nigga. This is hard. I'll play it. But fuck that. It's your record too, yeah. nigga. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. If yeah. the song blows up, yeah, you blow. We up. blow up. <laughs> <For sure. laughs> If I blow up, you blow up. Limax was going What's to that, party. That, that my, my, my DJ, DJ Limax was going to party. He was like, man, why RJ ain't playing a liquor, man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, what's wrong with the boy? Yeah. So people be looking at me like I'm just like fucking with RJ all the time. Sure. No, the boy not don't got it all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, you, you, he don't you, think you, about things you sometimes. You here, I'm here, you got the song. <laughs> yeah. Uh, like, what the fuck, nigga? It's a, it's a hit record. Like, yeah, for sure. Fast. So, uh, <laughs> 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 um, actually, RJ did the West Side shit too. West Side nigga song. Okay. That was his beat. And he didn't play that record. <laughs> I'm like, bro, the niggas love the... Uh, what the fuck? Like, no, nigga, anti, what are we doing? Anti-good, nigga. Like, like he just like, anti-me. <laughs> <laughs> and then Dex came and changed his life around. I mean, yeah. I, I did too, but still. Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. nigga, what the fuck? <laughs> that shit, she said, nigga, you in here, I'm in here. That nigga. shit is crazy. Like, we both got, are starving, nigga. Like, <laughs> you got the song. But nigga. you got the plug. For sure. Literally, nigga. Like, this nigga was playing everybody else's songs but his. Duh. I, not even fuck, fuck my song. You ain't got Play, my song. play your own song. Yeah, sure. You have good music that's out right now. Man, duh. Hey, let's go back to that fear word, maybe. Fear, for sure. Maybe, you know he, what I'm he, well, you know what? The, I, you know, that's crazy you say that. Yeah, maybe. To yeah. give RJ props, nigga, it was a different time when DJs like couldn't really play city music like yeah, that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it yeah. was like it was, but he. But I'm gonna say this though: people think it's DJ BJ. Yeah. No, yeah. it was RJ Lamont that started the. I'm gonna play this shit. Fuck yeah, it. Sure. But yeah, I just don't understand. He never played his shit. <laughs> he would play all type of East Side local he local shit. shit. <laughs> He's breaking all type of Vezo. All type of everything from the East Side. But not his shit. And yeah. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? Because you're the only nigga that got the balls to play. He, he would have like a Detroit. I used to bounce. Yeah. And least listen, I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a, a Detroit hour. Yeah, he would just like, he would just take his own yeah, and do a Detroit. Man. He was the first nigga I've ever seen. I was like, what God the damn. fuck is going on? But he said anti-me, nigga. Like. But he anti-me though, for sure. I don't know what's wrong with the boy. Duh, now, uh, <laughs> like I said, man, I reached out to you. You dropping, um, you, you about to drop Diamonds in My Cardi's ears. Diamonds in My Cardi's, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. what, uh, what was the hold up? Because it came out what? Oh, not just Friday, but Friday before, right? It was supposed to come out on Thursday. Yeah. And uh, I sent it. I got some features on there. Okay. And, and I got, a, got way on. Well, I got a feature from Cash Kid. Okay. And uh, that's my brother. And like yeah. the uh, the uh, company I'm I'm distributing through, mm. they don't believe I know Cash Kid. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> they emailed me. Was like, yeah, you got some big features on here. Yeah. I was like. Hi, I'm over. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, I know, I know these guys. Yeah, like, yeah, for sure. well, yeah, we need to see some signed contracts from them and da da da. Yeah. So I was like, man, this nigga's a street nigga. How the fuck am I about to get him to sign a, <laughs> yeah. a contract? And I, I don't know. All right, man, I got you. <laughs> so I, I tried to send him like my DMs and shit, and, like mm-hmm. me and him be DMing. All. I was like, bro, yeah. I was like, man, this is a part of this shit. And uh, they was like, nah, they ain't, they ain't gonna cut it. Yeah. So I had, but I ended up getting the contract and that nigga signed. I was like, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, sure. cool, cool. It's a lot easier. Maybe I got lower expectations yeah, like, for street yeah. niggas these days. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Man, fuck that contract. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> these niggas was like, no, nah, it's on my phone right here. I sent him to his phone. He signed it. Yeah. And then I, I sent it, so I'm just waiting on them to clear that. For sure. And then the whole part is driving. And now I said to say, what's your uh, what's your process when you create albums, man? Because it seems like well, a lot of your projects are themed. Like you yes. got it's a concept behind everything. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got the Northland. You got the the free Kwame. You got yeah. The, West Side, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, what's my, my favorite one is the one, um, 2020. Damn, what's the name of that? 
Oh, uh, I hope you're proud of me. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. yeah. That shit, like, what be your, like, what be your process and when you create these, these bodies of work? Um, man, it be so it all starts with the artwork first. Mm -hmm. Every project I've started, I've had and released, it started with the artwork. I have photo shoots or I just come across pictures I just really fond of, and I'm like, yo, this could be something. Yeah, I, mean, I can make. Yeah. I, and then I try to make the sound of the picture. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. how I look. That's how I make. <laughs> and I'm laughing because I, you you dropped uh, yo, I need my bitch back, dog. Yeah. And, and cute on the cover it got uh, the Will Smith smacking my fucking rock on bitch, dog. So what made you say I need my bitch back? Like was it the whole Jay Pick? Like I gotta get her back? Like nah, I, so I gotta get her on my side, so I'm smack this nigga, dog. <laughs> so what's funny is uh. That's <laughs> funny. No, that just happened in the moment, yeah. and I just figured I capitalized off of it. But yeah. I had I got another piece of art yeah. that's the real. Uh, I need my bitch back. Yeah, yeah. And uh, that art is I'm gonna still use it, but I'm just gonna call it something else. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna make something else to it. But yeah, the Will Smith shit happened when I was about to drop the the other one anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, I was yeah. like, oh wait, this is way more cool. This Hell is, yeah. Yeah. So Duh. I just ended up using that shit. It so, was funny as fuck. What was the concept? I, I need my bitch back, man. Like you, you were trying to get your bitch back. Or like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it was man. It was just like really. It was like just a mesh of like. Um, niggas be niggas be like niggas, girls don't understand niggas for yeah, real. Yeah. You know what's crazy? Women always want us to understand them, yeah, for sure. but they don't understand us at all. Like, don't give a fuck too. Even like there's, <laughs> yeah. like, you know what I'm saying? Like understanding us is not even like a thing. Yeah, for sure. I've yeah. never heard a girl say like I'm trying to understand my nigga. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> like, like we know what you how in you the history of females. Yeah. Not at all. You know what I'm saying? So it's like yeah, you know, it, it's really I need my bitch back. Was just like uh. uh a, like a flux of like different feelings that yeah. that men be having. Yeah, yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Because yeah. girls think that man, girls are crazy. Oh no, for sure, big time. They uh, think like so they really don't know us. Like they think that it's just so much shit. Like yeah, I can't you know. disagree with you on that one, man. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but like you said, dog, I want the chicks don't they talk all that shit? They want us to do this, do that, know us, do this, understand yeah. me, touch me, massage all that shit. Yeah, nigga, we come to that bitch, nigga, stress the fuck out, mad as fuck. They don't From the talk. world, yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? Don't, uh, they, don't bring that shit in here, like, like nigga. You know what I'm it's crazy, dog. dog. Now I got this shit, man, called "Talk About the Bars." When I take a bar from a song and then we talk about it. Okay. So in that song, man, uh, oh, big shit. comeback. He was okay. like, I hate listening to Drake and Tory Lanez. Uh, got me thinking about the one that got away. Yeah. <laughs> Is there a chick that ever, that ever got away? He's like, dog, I fucked up, man. Like, oh, I, 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 did, I did Keisha dirty, man. <laughs> <laughs> um, man, not really, but, man. but what I meant by that was, um, I hate listening to these niggas because they make me think about damn that bitch has some good pussy, yeah. like that type yeah. of shit. Like, no, for sure. yeah, the, them got away for yeah, sure. And I'm like, yeah. fuck. Yeah, she was my number one. That was my number one. <laughs> yeah. My go to. She did that one shit, dude. What the fuck was I thinking? Yeah. I should have just been wrong. Like, yeah. fuck it. <laughs> sure. Like, you know what I'm saying? But no, not really. I mean, it wasn't like. Yeah. 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 But you, you don't think no chick ever got away that you be you, you regret to this day? Like, goddamn. Um. Kim got away. Nah, man. You know, I you know, I've only I've only probably had like I, I was telling somebody this other day. Yeah. I've only had like maybe like six girlfriends yeah. technically in my life, yeah. which is an extremely low number technically. Yeah, yeah for sure. Like yeah. of like a serious relationship, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So, yeah. um, and all of them came back. Yeah. Like yeah. when we went our separate ways, they yeah. all came back for sure. And try to rekindle something, and, and I mean, it clearly didn't work, but yeah. you know what I'm saying. Yeah. But Hell yeah, you know, now, after the uh, project, uh, hope you proud of me. You got a song called Really. You said if that's uh, really your dog, you ain't gotta compete. Like, oh, rely, rely. I said really. I'm, yeah, I'm, 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 that's <laughs> it all wrong, dog. I'm, that's I'm thinking like really. What the fuck's going yeah, on? Damn, I, 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 yeah, yeah. See, that'd be a whole ass typo. We'd be typing shit. <laughs> <laughs> put really yeah, rely. Yeah, yeah rely. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck that shit. Really. <laughs> 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 on rely, you see that thing look like what? I did a song called Really. <laughs> Like really? Yeah. <laughs> I'm relying though. You said if that's really your dog, you ain't gotta compete. Have, yeah. Have, have you ever been in those situations where you you feel like your success may have may have uh, caused a beef or a rip between you and somebody? Um, I think that no, I've been in a situation where the potential that I had mm -hmm. and I was pursuing um kind of caused a rift between me and a me and a person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, it was yeah. like, nigga, like in your lane, you you you're gonna be like like stop worrying about that, like nigga. For like, 
Once you know, we all get it, we all get it. And, yeah. You know. But I think that's the. I'm not speaking on your situation, but just in general, man. I think a lot of people they don't understand. Like, all right, I might not be the one to get us on, but you is, so we can good. Right. You know what I'm right. saying? Because shit, you might need you might need some. If I'm a podcaster here, a rapper or something, he blow up. Hey, man. He give, me, he give me a platform right. or vice versa or some shit. And you know, it's funny because that's what I was speaking about earlier when I said Lifestyle got the legs cut off. Because, nigga, I put out Lifestyle first and foremost. So I had Lifestyle for a year mm-hmm. prior. Well, ha- well, eight months yeah. prior. And when I ended up releasing it, mm-hmm. a couple of days later or something like that, like a day or two later on Worldstar, because mm-hmm. I released it like on SoundCloud. Yeah. On World Star, you get lifestyle by Rich Homie Quan and oh, yeah, Thug. Yeah, 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 hell yeah. Clip, yeah. right? For sure. Yeah. That's one clip. Yeah. One so I'm like, gone. what the fuck? Yeah. Like, yeah. But my shit's still going. Yeah. And it actually started going because of uh the homie at the radio station. It really was these two niggas was the spawn of it. Mm. All these things, everything, low key. Um uh Butt Naked Grid. Okay. And um Dr. Darius. Yeah, shout out to Greg, man. He was on this bitch last uh, episode. Yeah, I peeped yeah. that. I peeped yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um yeah, Greg, um oh no, Dr. Darius was like, nigga. I posted on SoundCloud and he heard it and was like, nigga, what the fuck is this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I literally like I mean like within like thirty minutes, he yeah, like for sure. he like hit me up and I was like, Oh yeah, man, this is a song I'm about to start pushing. You like it? He was like, nigga, man, send me the edit right now, nigga. Yeah, I got yeah, you. For sure. I was like, all right. So yeah. I sent the edit it. And he he sent it around to you know he sent it to Greg and people around the station. They was like, yeah, he got one. Yeah. And then Greg had a show and it was like it was called a uh, it was called like Hot or Not or some shit like that, yeah, right? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And he played it and everybody called and said not. Yeah, damn. <laughs> yeah. Everybody hold the fuck out of me. So I'm thinking in my mind like, well, Greg's never gonna fuck with me again. You know, you know what I'm saying? And I he hit me up like, yeah, man. Um. Man, the song's fire, man. Like, you know, so yeah, we're going to get to playing it. Yeah, 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 and yeah. I was like, oh, you going to play it? He's like, yeah. I thought it was hot or not. I'm all yeah. lost. <laughs> He's like, no, nah, man, fuck that shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so he ended up, they was, I mean, you know, the DJs, they, they gravitated towards. I always had a good report with DJs because I, I always feel like they're the gatekeepers to all this shit anyway. For sure. And, um, yeah, that's funny as hell. You got to keep the respect for DJs. Yeah, because um, you listen to radio stations like, damn, nigga. I mean, they were going, nah, what the hell is this? Like, I'm like, damn. <laughs> I thought I had one. Like, <laughs> yeah, we niggas, Detroit is a hard crowd, no, bro. No, it is. With anything. Yeah. Hey, look, dog. Don't go in your comments, dog. Like, nigga, oh yeah, nigga. I just be like, whatever. Suicide, and be like, dog. I was like, fuck it, whatever. Sorry for anybody who was offended by that. I gotta make sure. I watch, oh yeah, I gotta watch myself nowadays, dog. Cause yeah. Nigga, go back on episode one thirty three. He doesn't care. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But no, I got clipped off because nigga, like, so that was one thing with thug shit. Yeah. And then two weeks later, days dropped. Try me. Yeah. So, and yeah. we in the same crew. Yeah. So now. So it's like top, now she's the top dog yeah. in the world. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and I'm just sitting here like, well, don't forget lifestyle. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So lifestyle, please. Uh, people were spinning it, but it kind of died down like after like maybe a month or two. And yeah. she wanted me to go on the road with her, and I was like, nah, I ain't really fucking with it because I ain't uh, the the management had kicked us out of the had kicked us off of the label, it kicked yeah. us off of the management. Mm-hmm. And when she dropped Try Me and the world took to it, they came back. Yeah, yeah, like, oh, oh hey, hey. Yeah. yeah, and I told Days like, why did you do that? Like, yeah. Nigga, we could have did this shit a whole different way. For sure, fast. fast. And, um, what you learned, though? Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Hell yeah you know yeah. what I'm saying? But, but I ended up going with them. They, they, we had, like, three big-ass meetings and shit, like, yeah. internally and shit. And yeah. Every meeting, I was, we, me and, you know, the, me and some of the managers was getting into it. Yeah. You know, I don't have no hard feelings about that shit now no more, sure. but. And so, Try Me was, a, was that big, that was BBL and shit. Like, you know, get your ass out here, you got no ass. <laughs> Came back, Try Me always, yeah. come here. Nigga, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Like, 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 it literally was, it was like, and I was just like, what the fuck? I ended up learning and more shit about yeah. the shit later on. Why the fuck she went back? Yeah, it was yeah, a little, it was little some bit. shit going on. But uh, yeah, regardless, it. man, um, lifestyle got cut because they were like, yeah, man, how about you just come back with us because mm-hmm. we pushing days yeah. and yeah, we're going to get to your lifestyle shit, but like put that shit to the side for a second. Yeah, hold up. Yeah, and, yeah. and 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 niggas, actually, nigga, no, no, I take that back. I'm sorry, that's not what happened. What was said was 
yeah, we don't need to push lifestyle no more because Rich Homie Quan and Young Thug got lifestyle. Yeah. They got, like, so we don't need to push that no more. You got to come up with another song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, so what they got another song? What the yeah, fuck that mean? Yeah, <laughs> like, it's a market, nigga. Yeah, for sure, yeah. Like, yeah. two people can exist in a market. Pepsi, sure. Cola. Like, yeah, yeah, no, it doesn't, sure. you know what I'm saying? Like, don't you know business? Yeah. That's what, I'm telling you, bro, like, everything makes sense. Like, how I was, like, telling nigga shit. Yeah. And the whole crew as a, as a cohesive was like, nah, we're going to stop with lifestyle. We ain't going to do it. Damn. So, I didn't, I threw lifestyle away after that. Yeah. So, it really, I never, like, people used to be like, I had my shot and shit. I'm like, I never had my shot. Yeah, yeah, cause yeah. Because, yeah. like, I never had a T Grizzly moment where yeah, niggas you drop a record yeah. and then you push that bitch and you got the video yeah, and yeah, niggas behind you. Yep, yep, yep. I didn't, I never got a fucking, um, who, a solder situation. Yeah. I never had one of those. Yeah, like, yeah. a Band Gang Lonnie situation with that fucking, uh, one song he had. Yeah. I never had any of these shits where we actually stopped. And pushed in the height of my success, yeah. pushed the record. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. you, I, I'm at a disadvantage. You yeah, really so, can't. So with that said, do you be, do you ever, do you feel like damn, like, like do you do you feel like you miss your shot, or do you ever be disappointed, like damn, like man? No, nah, like, hell no. I feel yeah. like that's why I feel like I'm one of the best here yeah. because of perseverance. It's like yeah. nigga, okay, so you cut the legs off my song. We stopped promoting it for a whole year. Yeah. Then we fell out. Mm-hmm. Me and the manager fell out. Me and Days left the management. Mm-hmm. Like I said in the beginning, we yeah, should have did. Yeah, yeah, so I was open was right. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So we left the management, and then the manager, uh, my 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 man uh, Brinks, he was like, uh, we was just coming up with ideas. Like, what we gonna do with Over? Like, you know what I'm saying? And one of his ideas was like, hey, well, let's do a remix. Yeah, Throw Dex on there. Yeah. Dex is on fire. Dance you know what I'm saying? Fire. Yeah, you know. Yeah. And I was kind of, I, I, I wasn't jealous. Of, I never was jealous of Dex, but I used to feel away because I'm like, it's not fair that the, like, because Meek was gravitating towards Dex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, but Dex was pushing me. Yeah. So it was like, damn, why he skip over me? Yeah, yeah. And I used, to, I used to feel away like, nigga, like, I feel like you think that a street nigga has to look like what Dex looks like. For sure, yeah, yeah. That's all I've been And I've done like way that. more. I mean, you know, I've just, I mean, I'm older though. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but yeah. I've, I've been way more involved yeah, yeah. than what Dex has been doing. Sure, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. So, he been doing a whole bunch of like, that's yeah. like, we talked about it. Like, yeah. me and Dex, when he was alive, we talked about certain things. Yeah, like, hell yeah. So, it's just one of the things where it's like, man, damn, the perception of shit. Then, plus it's all about timing, time. Y'all about plus, it's all you know about saying? timing, man. It's, oh, that's, that, that's like the biggest thing is time. Yeah. Um, you know what I'm saying? When it's going to. Or are you being at the right spot? Or? Are you doing the right thing at the right moment? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That that's what I'm learning from the shit. So yeah. Anyways, um, yeah, lifestyle. You know, we came with the remix and it brought it back to life. Yeah, for and sure. that's when it changed my life. Yeah, because yeah. the, the re- I had like the that, that shit was like the number one song in the region for a minute. Yeah, yeah, but it was, before yeah. Ma- it was before the mat. Yeah, it was before live. It was before the little shit, shit yeah, that you don't think t- about. It could have took you off. Yeah. That could have. You know what I'm saying? Man, it's the little things yeah, that you don't think sure. about. That yeah, like, oh shit. Yeah, man. Like I could have been on. You know what I'm saying? I could have been going crazier. Like hell yeah, goddamn man. <laughs> timing, dog. It's time crazy. Fuck time. Sometimes. But I kept. <laughs> but after that, I'm still nigga. Like nigga, every I want to. I, I, I'm not no narcissist, none. But like, almost every main project I tried to push out of that had a record on it that was like yeah, it went crazy. that went crazy. It it was dreams yeah. went like on Northland. And, and you got you got a lot of different. You know, a whole bunch of body of words. Like, like yeah, for sure. Like, all right, I'm sure. this one and chill for three, four years. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, that. yeah. Like, yeah. No, I'm coming. Don't, yeah, I'm a coming. lot of niggas ain't consistent like that. You know what I'm saying? And uh, kind of stay on that, man. The song, If I Never Make It. What's, yeah. What's making it for uh, for Oba, man? That was one of my favorites. Yeah, it, it, what's making it for you, man? Like, what, Well, that was a frustrating song because yeah. I made that and I wasn't fucking, I wasn't doing no street shit. Yeah. And... I was just like, man, this is some bullshit. Like, I could be going crazy in the streets right now yeah. if I wanted to. Yeah. And <laughs> if this shit don't work, man, I'm about to fuck all y'all. <laughs> like, yeah, I was yeah. really on some whole ass shit. Like, it was really a whole ass. <laughs> be real, yeah. I'm be honest with you. Like, yeah. that's how I was thinking. Like, but you know what I'm saying? Um, making it for me is like just finding peace and happiness and solace of what I'm trying to do, mm-hmm. which is where I'm at now. Mm-hmm. So technically, I, in my mind, I made it. Like, you yeah. know what I'm saying? For sure. My like, nigga. Yeah, yeah, because some niggas think it's money, it's this, it's that. Yeah, it's not that. Yeah. Because the biggest thing is what you learn is when you get money is when you have a lot, when you get a lot of money, you have to pay a lot of bills. For so, sure. like, you yeah, think yeah. that you get yeah, money yeah. and now I'm not broke again. Yeah. No, nigga, you don't live like that no more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you live like this a now. Whole different lifestyle. It's a whole different, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and that's yeah. the, man, that shit is crazy. So, what, what's some shit you hate that you got to deal with with this music shit, bro? Like, that you, you, you had to go through or had to deal with? Uh, perception. Yeah. I have to, I hate to have to do with perception. Everybody wants to get a big chain. Yeah. Everything. All you need over is a chain, and you about to meet the <laughs> number one <laughs> artist. I'm yeah. like, bro, 
I don't give a fuck about a chain, bro. Like, <laughs> I don't. I just, I just don't care about the shit. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I get crosses. I like crosses because yeah. I used to get that when I was hustling. So, for sure, for sure. like, it's just it's just nostalgia for me. Yeah, but. Yeah, that was back in the day, probably when you got the bitch of your neighbor. Yeah, you know, I used to borrow yes. that nigga chain. Dog. I, I, yeah, but I was, I was the first two chains. Like I said, yeah. that nigga chain, my homeboy chain. Yeah, man. You know, I'm borrowing niggas chains. But like, nah, nah, man. Well, I, like, you, people act like no one's ever made it without a chain. Yeah. Like. They just like it's just it's but it's just the 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 um what's the word I said uh the 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 perception, perception and expectation of what people like yeah. put on you like you have to go to events to like, listen this is the number one thing I'm gonna tell you yeah. you don't have to do shit yeah 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 yeah, yeah. No, in life cause my nigga always tell me I need to be seen more than where I am to get this problem. you don't have to be shit yeah yeah for sure. it's one thing that can happen yeah. and life changes take, for you take and everybody out. who told you what you had to do. It's gonna be on your dick. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Hell yeah. I'm telling. That's how it works. No, for sure. No, fat. I, I was. Uh, I'm. I'm a sister, but I was dating this girl, yeah. and she was real popular at the time. She had a lot of money. Okay. And she was really into me, and she was like, "This is before lifestyle, okay. and before days try. This is like six months before lifestyle, okay. six months before days try me." And she had told me she was, you know, we was kicking it, and she was like, "Yeah, man, like, man, man, we about to go crazy for you." And I was, she was trying to like, she was trying to make these plans for me yeah. as if she wanted to put this big bag behind me. Mm. And I was trying to tell her like, hey, you know, you don't need all that money for this. Yeah, for sure, yeah. Like, I'm not that type of artist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not like going around saying money, 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 throwing, yeah, yeah. like, you know what I'm saying? Sure, yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm actually on some creative shit now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, she couldn't really grasp that's what I was trying to say. Yeah. Because she was on some yeah. money, money, money shit. Yeah. Like, so, yeah, big money, so big pay. She's pressing music too. Uh, yeah, she, yeah, she, okay. yeah, she's in music. So, I was gonna ask you who is. Nah. <laughs> I don't want to say, but yeah, I, I'm just gonna say this. Um, <laughs> um, she, um, I was telling her like, yeah, you know, you don't need like that much money to like to do the things you think to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she held me. She broke up with me and she held me. Yeah. She broke up with me and she held me. Like yeah. hold the fuck out of me. Damn. What? Um. Was it like on wax or like? <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, like, okay. like, like, you know, just told me like, yeah, yeah she, she, she when, because she I had these, talking shit about because you. I had these thoughts. About because I had these theories like yo, you can do what you want to do. Like yeah, you don't have sure. to. We don't have to do what everybody else is doing. Yeah, yeah. She told me that I was uh, not gonna be the artist. I was never gonna pop. I was not. I, she was like, "You're not the artist I thought you were. You're never gonna make it." Da da da. And she said, "You're running around with Dave's love trying to push her. Like what the fuck are y'all yeah. doing?" Yeah, for like, sure. Like, hell yeah, hell yeah. And it, I mean, you know, that's her own issues and shit. She had, you know, yeah. a little bit of jealousy and things, but. Probably not even jealousy. Probably just a little bit envious that she probably thought I was giving more attention to her okay. than her. Yeah, but yeah, I don't know. Yeah, you know that's that's is. some other shit. I don't yeah. want to. I don't want to speak bad on her. But I'm saying. But she literally told me like, yeah, this is never gonna work. And six months later, bam, yeah, blew up. And then she hit me up. I was so wrong. Yeah. We was on Jimmy Fallon. We was on One of the Park. Yeah, everywhere. Yeah. I was so wrong. Oh, but I'm sorry. Yeah. I accept your apology for sure. Like, yeah. but it's just my. I'm not. That's not the point of the story. I'm trying to say. The one I'm saying is that. It happens like that, yeah, and, it, and everybody and shuts the fuck up. Oh yeah, everybody who had some bad say, oh man. Everybody that had an opinion yeah. shuts the for fuck sure. up. For sure. For sure. Now, uh, now on that dog, like, was there a time you was done with the music shit, bro? Like you was like, nigga, I'm hell done. yeah. Like, when around, um, man. when um, when I when, when me and Days kind of fell out, yeah. I was it was over for me. I, I was I thought it was done, and I cried then actually. Yeah. Oh, see, that's the last time yeah, you cried. I man. cried in front of my homeboys, hell like, yeah. and they was like, I, first time I, that's the first time, I, only time and first time in life I've ever cried in front of somebody. Yeah. And um, they was just looking at me like, and I was I I literally was not trying to cry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just came yeah. out like fuck. Hell yeah. That's really what it, yeah. I really wasn't crying. I was really just saying fuck. Yeah. I fucked up. Yeah, yeah, it's like, over. and it's only I only cried because I didn't go in my intuition. Like, yeah. I, I like even now, like some of my friends, I'm still with the same group of friends, and everything. But yeah. sometimes people misunderstand me for not listening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like, nah, nigga, I know what it feels like to know something. Yeah. And then don't do what you know. For sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Second I would rather you. be wrong on my way. Yeah. Then be wrong with your way. But yo, yeah, cause that's just all it is. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like you know, with, with with this, like if it, we talking about with children, nah, nigga, help me. How the fuck do I raise this yeah. child? <laughs> like, nigga, I'm not. I'm listening no, now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I'm all ears. Though. Yeah, but but with this music shit, like something that I know that I put blood, sweat, and tears in for yeah. the longest of times, for yeah. the amount of 
nah, nigga. For sure. I got I gotta be the one to make the final call. I got to. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, you know what's right. You know what you know what I'm saying. You, you know what I'm saying. Even but, if I'm wrong, it don't even matter. Like, yeah. I have to be the one. For sure. So man. that's the, the, that that's really what. You now know with, what now with you with the story stories you told as far as like management relationships things like that, um, the song not going as big as it could have because of things that happened. Do you ever feel like you you don't get the love you deserve from the city? Um. So what, what, so. Like I said, you've been at it for you've been at it for a minute. Yeah, but see, it's different though. It's like, nah, man. I think I get. See, okay. So I look at it differently. Not on no, and not even trying to be on no positive shit. But mm. I look at it like, um, okay. How do I explain this? Get your little Malcolm X philosophy. In <laughs> <laughs> All right. So like, I did this concert, right? Mm. It was called Black Santa. Okay. Yeah, because you had two projects, Black Santa. Yeah, yeah the yeah. first the original one, I had billboards. We did a concert at St. Andrews, mm -hmm. and I promoted it. And, um, you know, it didn't go like I wanted to go. Mm -hmm. We made our money back. So, I mean, you know, we broke even on that. But sure. it didn't go like we, we took some losses in other areas, right? Mm -hmm. And the thing is, I was the next day was a Gucci concert. Okay. And the people that I thought were going to come to my concert didn't come, yeah. which is fine. But the next day, they were at the Gucci concert. Yeah. And I was just thinking in my mind, like, well, huh. <laughs> like, you wouldn't have paid to come to my concert. Yeah, for sure. Because you my man. I would have brought you in, but yeah. you actually paid to go to a Gucci concert. Yeah, for sure. My shit was yesterday. Nigga. Like, it's yeah, and it was the day yeah. before. <laughs> and I'm like. I mean, you could have went to both. Like, really? Yeah, for sure. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Get my like, shit free. Pay yeah. Your <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I just, from that day on, I realized that, hold on. um, You can't really hold people. Man, I'm glad you said that. Yeah. I know you, what I'm about to say. Yeah, and you can't hold people, like, accountable for shit like yeah, that. Yeah, like, or, or expect niggas to do what you would do. It, yeah, Dog, facts. I, was just, I just had this conversation yesterday with my boy Lance, man, because he big on social media likes and shares and stuff and comments. Oh, uh, yeah. He just getting, like... I, we both did this podcast together. I'm glad I didn't. Yeah. But <laughs> he 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 started to do little street interviews, and when he posted, he don't get the likes, the shares from who we consider his close people. Right. But I'm like, bro, it's not gonna happen. If you right. do that shit, you might as well quit right yeah, now. Yeah, that's not the that's if not the focus. That, nigga, you know what I mean? People, I be a, I know should be sharing my podcast. Right. Bro. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. That's a, listen. It's I'll be seeing. I it's crazy because. I'll see girls like on my Facebook or something, right? Mm -hmm. Quoting lines that I've songs that I've written. Mm -hmm. I seen this one girl, bro. I swear on everything. I ain't gonna say nothing, but I seen this one girl sing I mean like sing her heart out <laughs> to a song that I wrote for somebody else yeah. that somebody else performed. Yeah. And they were singing their song. Yeah. Like they were like <laughs> in the camera, like, you know what I'm saying? And I'm looking like Ain't that a bitch? <laughs> she ain't never sung my song like that. Yeah, but some shit but that I, got I wrote this. You're singing my song now, technically. Yeah, yeah. I wrote it for somebody else, yeah. but you're singing their song. But you've never done my shit. My shit even harder. Like, yeah, for sure. <laughs> you think I'm gonna give her the hard? Them the hard shit? Hell no. Nah. Like, I got the hard shit. She gonna pay the bill that motherfucker. But yeah, man, she was going crazy. <laughs> and I'm just, I mean, like every word, like she, like it, I'm like, so you really feel this way, like? I wrote like this is my this is not even that person. Duh. Ain't that some crazy shit to Hell think yeah, of? Man. This man. whole shit is a mind fuck. On the, on the writing shit, bro, do you gotta like sign some type of contract not to tell or not to like say anything as far as when you writing for someone? Nah, but I just don't do that. Yeah, yeah. Because some niggas like, hey, I wrote that shit this day. Yeah, yeah. I don't, so, I don't was it, just, have you wrote for singers and rappers or one of, you know, more so singers? Because you get your sing on too, man. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you can sing on shit, dog. I'll be trying, dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> shit funny. Yeah, yeah but so you write for a little mixture of both, or I do write for both. Yes, I do. Yeah, I have to think about it. Like, wait, oh yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah and, and like when you write, like say a um a R and B song, yeah. Like, are you like kind of like all right, asking, hey man, what you been going through? What you you know what I'm saying? Some shit like that. Or you just um, nigga, this song fits you here. Take it. When it's uh, you know, a lot of big artists, they um. They just like just send me some. Like mm -hmm. it's not really a consultation. Mm -hmm. I would like that though. Yeah. Yeah. Like with, with younger, like with not younger, but like more uh, amateur artists. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I, I I'm like okay. Let, sure. me, let me sit down with you, kick it with you. you know Hell what yeah. Saying? Hell yeah. So you're mind that. Yeah. If you hear anything, man, we in the hood, we in the basement. That's granddad, man. Right? <laughs> oh yeah, let's get it. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, you started the podcast, man, December first, twenty twenty one. Yeah. God's favorite podcast. God's favorite. 
<laughs> what made you um what made you want to start the podcast, man? And uh, what you trying to get from this from this shit? You so were, you want episode eighteen now, nineteen? Eight, yeah, nineteen. I'm, I'm doing nineteen. Hopefully today. Yeah, oh, yeah. it's funny. Well, uh, so uh, man, you know I've been on the podcast way. So I used to stay in Atlanta. We moved to Atlanta. Me and my homies moved to Atlanta, yeah. and uh, I was staying in Atlanta. And man, um, my homeboy down there, Els Jenkins, he's an artist down there, man. Got a wave going, and he put me hip to the podcast. He put me hip to Joe Button joint. Yeah, that's my shit though. So I was, I was, hip to, I was hip to Joe Button joint like at probably yeah. like episode twenty. Yeah, cause that's when it was called. Uh, I named his podcast. Yeah, later. later yeah. yeah, yeah that was, that was so I was hip to it back then. Yeah. So. Um, with Mariah on there, uh, yeah, Marissa, yeah. whatever her name is, Marissa whatever. Marissa, did dirty and shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Joe's been falling off of people forever. Yeah, That's funny. Dirty so quick, though. <laughs> but, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, my my point is, uh, I mean, it was so good, and I was like, I can't believe I like this shit because it's nothing but talk radio. That's it. That's it. That's and I used it. to hate it when my pops used to play talk radio. Man, for facts. I mean, you know what I'm saying? That's like, like listen, AM radio. All man, day. it's literally <laughs> AM radio. Yeah, for sure. And I never in a billion years would have thought AM radio would become popular. Hell yeah, dog. I thought it was like, that's crazy. Yeah, for sure. So, yeah, I was uh, I was listening to Joe Button, and I was Nori uh, came out around yeah. the time, too, with Drink yeah, Champs. They had Tax Stone around that time. Tax Stone, yeah. yeah, yeah exactly. Tax Stone. Yeah. Um, Charlamagne had one with a... Uh, Great Idiots. Yeah, still, yeah, yeah Andrew on. Schwartz. Yep, yep, yep. Schultz is one of that. Yeah, so anyways... I was like, I was listening to him. I'm like, bro, I can do this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I, so I wanted to do it way back then. Yeah, cause I see you say you did it. You know, you had a couple years that that shit was on your mind. Yeah, man. And I, um, I, um, what had happened? Uh, I had realized like fears yeah. when I was talking about earlier. For sure, for sure. I was like, man, fuck it. We about to, I'm about to just do it. I don't got no camera. All like, man, man. Fuck, put my phone up. Hell yeah, for sure. Nigga, Hell yeah. About to get this shit. Sing, I'm about nigga. to jump. Yeah. I'm the king of jumping. Yeah. And I usually jump when you're not supposed to jump, but <laughs> I'm the key. I have no patience. Yeah. I'll be like, man, let's go now. Let's, let's go. go. Let's get it. You know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, that's how that shit came out. I see the difference in the first episode and now. You got headphones on. You had no headphones yeah, on. Yeah, yep. I see you got the little mic and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You had shit. You Aesthetics, just yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, you yeah, know. Duh. So that, like, is, do you see this like, is this something you want to continue to do? Is Hell yeah. yeah. I see it being bigger, actually. Like, my, 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 I want my podcast the more so. I call it God's favor because it's come as you are. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, For sure. like, so it's like, I don't have like a filter. I don't have like a, mm -hmm. like how, like you was like, let me make sure I send a message. I let people know. I don't think that yeah. I don't give a fuck about yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> like, listen, yeah. <laughs> nigga, yeah, is, if you, is. if you don't, if you think that this is what malice looks like, yeah. then, oh, well, you're in hell anyway. You about to, <laughs> you, got, you got a long road ahead of you anyway. Sure. Yeah, so yeah. I, I don't, I'm not even doing it for you. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I come with nigga number love anyway. So yeah, shit. Yeah. And I, do you, eventually, like, do you want to do different things with the show? You want to have guests? You want to? I think so. Like, so I, I was so I originally was going. Uh, to, I, I'm still thinking about. I still am probably going to do it. Mm -hmm. Um, I was I was teaming up with Shula Wine. Okay. So me and Shula Wine been uh, in cahoots a lot lately, and uh, <laughs> he has a studio that he wanted me to like use and utilize and, and go hard with. So mm -hmm. I was like, okay. You know what I'm saying? He has a platform that he's building, and it's yep. it's really, it's really looking, it's looking hey, really good. Hey, like, Sweet wine, man, come through, cuz. Yeah, so feel, man. yeah, <laughs> man. It's it's really, it looks, man. It's like he that nigga works, man. That yeah. nigga, no, for sure. Behind the scenes, that nigga really works. So yeah. I'm just like, I'm just like student mode, man. Just like peeping it, and he offered me to bring it over to him, uh, bring my podcast over to his his joint. But we shot like two episodes, or no, we shot an episode or two, two maybe one or two episodes. I can't remember, mm -hmm. but uh. We um, it was cool. Everything was cool, mm. but what he wanted, well, he the direction he was looking for, wasn't the direction I thought mm. was was what I wanted to do. Yeah, we we know some of <laughs> and and uh, that, but that's and, important too. Yeah, it's important. So, you, so I was yeah. like, I was like, nah, I, ain't gonna, I, I pulled back from it. Mm. He wanted me to roll with him. Like yeah. I, I still am gonna roll with him. Yeah, but you. But it's but it, I'm just trying to make separate. sure it makes sense. Or, or it could be separate from what you're doing. It could be. I was thinking that too. Yeah. I was thinking that too. Like maybe I could do something new. But he has, a, he actually has a podcast over there, and they are really good. And when I see what they're doing, mm -hmm. I'm like, yeah, that's. I knew that's what you want me to do. Exactly. He yeah. wanted to be more so like a, like a more so interview. Me, I'm not really tripping on interviewing people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would do it because yeah. I fuck with people. For but sure. I'm not. I'm not trying to base it off of that. Like yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's more so based on my thoughts and opinions and um and 
that's the main thing. Like, yeah, for sure. come as you are, like I said. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So, yeah, yeah. And, and so, uh, and then, like I said, you, you, um, like you're at the crib doing this stuff like that. Yeah, I got a studio spot. I'm yeah. just being my studio spot. Yeah, yeah man, that's dope. Doing though. it right there. And you know, like, see, if you could hold a conversation alone. Exactly. Because <laughs> I tried that shit when this pandemic shit first happened. Yeah. I tried to do something by myself. I'm like, oh, this shit don't feel right. Like, I think I could. Do well, I it. talk to myself. Yeah. So, yeah. like, full blown conversations to myself. Yeah. I'm like low key special. Yeah, dog. Yeah, so, like, <laughs> Like, I remember my pops was like, who the fuck you talking to in here? I'm like, man, shit. <laughs> you adopted an only child, nigga. What the yeah, fuck? Yeah, it's just me and this motherfucker, nigga. All my friends got brothers in the crib. I'm in this bitch. Yeah, yeah. Dolo. Come yeah, in the crib, nigga. Chill, dog. So, yeah. Um, I, I mean, give me, your, uh, give me your best advice you got and the worst advice you got. About what? It could be anything. Life, music, whatever. Like, what's some good advice? Like, no, that's some good advice. And shit like, no, what the <laughs> fuck? And I actually did that shit? <laughs> <laughs> Shit, advice? I don't know, man. That's funny coming from me because I swear I don't everything. <laughs> um, or shit, it could be you gave some bad advice out. <laughs> bad advice. Or some good advice. Because <laughs> niggas with no chicks always like, or, or not no, but not in relation, will always give advice and be like, damn, nigga, this how you thinking? I think you single for a reason. Nigga. <laughs> That's a fact. Hey, man, nigga, fuck her, nigga, stay out as long as you want. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, come out here, nigga, everything outside. Like. <laughs> bad advice. Oh, good advice I learned. Good advice I learned, I will say this, is that you can't change somebody. Oh, no, for sure. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I tried to. Like, you really can't. Like, that. it has to be on that person. Try that shit, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, like, if you are dealing with somebody, whether it ain't got to be, like, relationship-wise. It can be friendship, friendship, whatever. Co-worker, whatever. But, like, you know, it's funny because you say kids because I got, now that I have kids, I'm looking like, you know, I can do the best I can to try to raise them a certain way. But they're gonna be who they are. Exactly. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yep. yep. You gonna try as much as you can, give them game. And Man, if that's, you take it or you don't. You either take it or don't. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And I'm starting. I'm starting that philosophy young with it. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, it's of course a certain thing I'm gonna, I'm gonna enforce. But sure. like, you know, I'm not gonna have my daughter dressing crazy and shit like that. But yeah. still, it's like, nigga, nah, nigga. Like, at the end of the day, you have to pay attention to what they are and, and how they are. Mm-hmm. And you have to like nurture that, you know what I'm saying. But anyways, I, I, I was saying it up. My advice would be, you can't change nobody, man. Like no matter how much money, how much you try, like nigga, you can't. A person has to want to be that way, and if they can't, then they should be with somebody who yeah. likes those things sure. about them. No, you know what I'm saying? It's a, cause too many times you be in relationships with people, and you like, dog, we stop yeah. doing this. Settling, they not gonna do that shit, man. I, that's, man, that's listen, bro. Are, settling, I think the settling is one of the biggest things <laughs> in our community. Yeah, for sure. No, fast. It's they, crazy. They, they come back way from our grandparents, dog. Yeah, for sure. It's been settling down. For like, sure. Hey, hey, shit, man. Hey, for we, sure. We pay bills together. But you know, that, <laughs> I, I think that that also comes from slavery because it's like, nigga, we all we got over here. Yeah, for sure. So when you find something, it's like, fuck it. Okay, let me just. No, nah, fair. So now nah, I for sure yeah, got something. No, nah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know my wife My wife complains a lot. Yeah. I understand that. Yeah. I'm not trying to change. I can't change. Well, it. I think all women complain yeah, a lot. Yeah, no, she, 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 she goes. Yeah. She goes a <laughs> little times five. Nah, nigga. I know somebody that's. <laughs> I'm, I'm leaving like, alone. Yeah. It, it, it's the fact that I want to leave her, but like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, man, this little shit. Yeah, yeah. We're shy. Why? It's a I just look. I just posted. <laughs> and she hates me for saying this shit, but I'm just keeping it real. I just posted a video. Of me and my baby mom just got into it because <laughs> I see you talked about it on the podcast. Yeah, yeah. I, she said that men don't try to be their peace. Yeah. And I was like, I'm cleaning out this garage for you. Yeah, for sure. Like this is a peace <laughs> offering for you. Like, for sure. why don't you see that? Yeah. But you know, it gets deeper than that. But still, it's just like. That's how I said, like, women don't really try to understand how men and shit. It's no, always know, about. We, we got to work so hard to understand men, <laughs> It's all we about know, nigga. getting them. Yeah. When they, what's yeah. Not, if they move this way, oh, that means she want this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> how, long, how long you been married? Uh, Two years. Love it. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. I fuck with yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm at, like, it's a motherfucking <laughs> a new game. I fuck with that shit. <laughs> no, no, it's dope as hell. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like, yeah. I'll be lying to what you. What do you like about it? What do you hate about it? I'm not hate, but I mean, like, like, what do you? What are the pros and cons? I'm saying. Well, I like. Well, what I like about it is like, see, I got somebody who got my back and think like me a little bit. You know what I'm saying? And I know like, if I fall off, she gonna be like, all right, Rashad, you, you should do this, you should do that, yeah. and not just kind of like stump on me already. Like, nigga, you broke, nigga, nigga, you a whole ass nigga. Why you broke or something like that? Like, yeah. she be like, all right, we gonna get through this. It's, it's, it's a little phase. We'll be straight. Yeah. What 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 what, what get my nerves though? Was, let me see. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to fuck them up. No, <laughs> it's um, shit, man. Sometimes you gotta, I don't know. So, I'm a, sometimes okay. you need time away just to be able to be like, all right. I can't Damn. wait to come back to the crib. Yeah, like like this is my outlet. That's deep. This is my way to get away from, and not just her, my kids. Yeah, I need this podcast, bro. Peace need, of mind. 
to get the fuck on. Buster Rounds just said that last night. Man. He was like, nigga, the studio. Yeah. He man. said, nigga, the studio is not going to buck back at you. Man. And I it's... believe that she needs something to do yeah. outside of me and the kids, too. For it sure. It ain't just me. I ain't being stingy with this shit. Yeah, like, for sure. Nigga, sometimes, like, nigga, hey, go chill with your girls. Go out to eat. Go, you know what I'm saying? Kick it at her crib or whatever. Yeah. Like, you need that time away from me. I yeah. need time away from y'all. Because we yep. a nice family. <laughs> Damn, that's crazy. We Space. Around, yeah, we, if you Iran. And women that's look at that. crazy. And like, first thing a woman would think, I'm not saying she. But first thing a woman think of, you trying to fuck some bitch. Yep. <laughs> like, I yep. just want to sit around with my niggas yes. and watch the basketball game. Like, yes. <laughs> That's not, I don't think women understand. Women undersell how fun that is. Yes, dog. Like, nigga. <laughs> Like, no, no, actually, you're fucking it up for all the hoes. No. I don't want to be around no hoes right now. No, exactly. Where my niggas at? No homo, but where yeah. my dogs at? No, you know how, man, I'll be wishing that her and the kids is just leaving. I'll be at home, nigga, doing not a thing. Nothing. I go give me a fucking pizza, sit here, nigga, and watch TV, nigga, nigga. and have the fun of my life. Yeah, <laughs> that's so fucking funny. Duh. Yeah. So, yeah. That's honest. Like, yeah. yeah. That's the one thing I love about it, dog. We got, we got each other back. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? She ain't. Damn, man. You made me I, think I need to get married And again. I had to change That's some her. terrible advice I've been fucking yeah, other <laughs> avoiding. Relations, other relationships I've been in, bro, I feel like I did. Damn, man. Can you stop going to the club? You too old now. Like, motherfucker, we 30 now. Like, it, yeah. it, the club days are yeah, over. Yeah, it's cooked. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But nah, she don't, she, she don't fuck with no clubs. She's like, oh, damn, you you boring just like me. Hell yeah, I fuck with you. <laughs> like, yeah. you guys, we some boring ass niggas, dog. We just be yeah. kicking it, dog. But shit, work for us. How, let me ask you this. How, how'd you propose? Did Man, you propose? It was weak, dog. It was, it was weak. weak. <laughs> I got, I got how to get a redo, dog. <laughs> you had a weak ass proposal. Yeah, I'm, I'm a, uh, yeah, damn, dog. and she still say yeah. Yeah, she, she even cried a little bit. I'm like, damn. Oh, <laughs> dog, the, the, the shit supposed to been so. We just talked. Me and her just talked about this two days ago, bro. What y'all do, dog? Her grandma fucked it up, dog. Shout out to her grandma. <laughs> her that is crazy. Nigga, so look, her grandma was coming down, so I was gonna go to dinner. It's gonna be her, her grandma. Her other grandma here and her mom. Yeah. I was gonna propose in front of them. It was like, I think it was Mother's Day or something. No, it was like. Did you ask them? It was Valentine's Day. No, I didn't. Okay. Cause I was like, uh, no, I talked to um her uh, her stepdad. Okay. So so then I'm like, all right, bam, I got this. So we your grandma gonna be in town. We all gonna go out to eat. Bam, I'm gonna do that shit, nigga. Little real thug, nigga. Like you know what I'm saying? It's gonna be G. <laughs> real thug. But then yeah, my grandma ain't coming. I'm like, damn, grandma. <laughs> Fucked it all up, dog. So we wanted to spend that weekend at her, her, her mom's house watching a football game. So I'm like, yeah, this be a whole ass way to propose. And watch your Lions get their ass beat. <laughs> so I wanted to propose, and bro, I had the ring in my Damn pocket lions. for like two months, dog. So now oh, so you, po you postponed it. Yeah, but I couldn't think of a good That's time. That's funny. So I got tired of holding that bitch, dog. We about to we in the we, we in the bedroom getting ready. I'm about to go coach a game, dog. So I'm 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 a uh, nigga. I got drawers on, shirt, dog. I go get my shorts, and I like, that go ring right there. Fuck. It. It turned around, I said my little spill, and then proposed. That was, in like, the room, I, yeah, in your drawers. I, I think I put the short song on. <laughs> <laughs> but I say I'm going to redo that shit. She don't watch the podcast. She ain't into podcast. So I'm going to redo it for uh, when we, <laughs> one of our anniversaries. I'm going to redo some shit, dog. Has yeah. take some pictures and shit, dog, and yeah. do it over again. Like She's going to probably think it's like an anniversary celebration, but I want to re repose. Did re you get on? Re yeah. Re propose. I said re repose. Yeah. Re propose with a different ring and everything. Did you um get on knee? Uh yeah yeah. <laughs> I think someone almost a knee nigga like I was yeah no, I did a little T bow a little bit. He's kind of thinking about it. You like, thinking about your yeah. decision. So I'm gonna do it over again, dog, cause niggas been killing they kill my shit, dog. So that's funny. I got a couple niggas. Matter of fact, I'm gonna have cuz niggas sing everything. <laughs> shit. Lera, Lera, well, shout out to Leron, dog. Yeah man, I <laughs> you be doing my marriage, bro? Um, you like man? Hell no. I used to. But now I'm like, hell no. Nah. Yeah. These girls are fucking crazy. Oh, no, man. no, no. They're crazy. It's a but I, I, can't, I ain't going to say that. I mean. No, it's not crazy. They, though. they are crazy. Yeah. But, I mean, I just think that what girl. Ha I've never had a girl that was like, oh, she's not crazy. Okay. Like, <laughs> that's never happened either. No, so, no, looks like we're stuck with crazy bitches. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Less crazy than the other one. Yeah, bro. you know what I'm saying? Um, But, no, I was just thinking, like. I, I I have thought about like if I ever proposed to a girl, yeah. how would I do it? Yeah, for sure. Because I'm like a little bit too cool for school. Yeah, yeah me too. That's all right. That's my problem. That's yeah. a flaw, man. Oh, that, that's that's don't be too cool for school, yeah. guys. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I am though. I'm too cool for anything. I'm too bro. cool. I, I, that's yeah. I'm just too cool for school. Like yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, I I was thinking like, what I get? Am I gonna get on a knee? Yeah. 
I don't nigga, know. It's kind of it's kind of corn, nigga. nigga. I kind of see this nigga. He lazy. He gonna lay it But it's home. not corn at all, guys. Like, <laughs> he gonna lay it <laughs> It's not corn at all. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, yeah I be just overthinking shit. Man, hell yeah, dog. My last question before I get to the little last funny topic I got, dog. But oh, yeah. how do you continue to stay motivated, dog? Through everything, how you how you stay motivated with with this music shit? Man, um, man, that's a good uh, question. Cause uh, so like on the project, I got uh, Chris Doug. Okay. Chris Douglas Roberts. Yeah, hell yeah. I, mean, I know Chris Douglas. Yeah. He, Memphis and shit. Yeah, yep. Yeah. He, um, we had bumped heads with, uh, with each other at a, at a listening party and, uh, we was just kicking in the shit. Mm. And I was telling, we, we with the cast together anyway. Okay, so, yeah, yeah. um, I was just telling like, yeah, you know, I got some things working on. And then I just hit him up randomly one day and was like, man, because we just had such a, you know, positive conversation that day, interaction that day. I was like, I wonder what this nigga think about. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause he's a creator now. Like, yeah, 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 you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? So I was thinking from creator to creator. Like, I wonder what he, what he think about. This. So I sent him some songs, and he sent me back some messages that were like really fucking. Um, like he really listened to the shit. Like, yeah, 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 really helpful, really impactful. His thoughts and opinions. Mm -hmm. And uh, I mean, I said to say that like you know, just people like tapping in and fucking with me. Yeah, that shit motivates me. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Sure. Nah, fast. And, yeah. and and it's always a rush seeing like. Seeing what can you discover when you drop something new, like like even with this project, like I think this project personally has has at least one or two songs on there that are fucking like that can be national records. You know yeah, what I'm saying? For sure, for sure. I don't know if they're gonna make it that far, but I mean, shit, if they do, cool. Yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah, duh. Now we eat, we eat everything, man. We got a little shit called verses, man. I okay. give you two categories, two people, two whatever. You tell me who wins. <laughs> yeah. Creamy macaroni versus stiff macaroni. Creamy. You like creamy shit? Damn, you the first nigga. Actually, that. I, I, I'm thinking about pussy. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. I'm thinking. I see. That's what I'm saying, bro. That's listen. You gotta. You gotta. gotta listen. I'm you gotta, I definitely got clips. God's favorite. You gotta listen, man. You gotta understand, bro. All right. My mind doesn't think the same. So I'm thinking you're talking about coochie. No. Like yeah. No mac and okay, cheese. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Stiff. <laughs> man. I mean, you know, creamy and nasty ass cream. <laughs> Hey, dog, I definitely got creamy. I don't know why these bitches think that creamy macaroni is a little thing. Dog, that nigga said creamy. That nigga said that's your cup. It's like, they want that motherfucker shit to make the noise, nigga. Oh, I see it, bro. Give yeah, me, uh, for sure. You from the West, man. Yeah. But Team Eastside versus Doughboy Cash Up. Doughboys. Yeah, I knew he was going to say that. Come on. I, I said that too. Home like, team. Yeah, payroll to me is one of my, that's my nigga, dog. Fuck no, payroll. honestly, Dame Dot, I think, is, is, is. An underrated genius. Okay. I think Dame Dot, and I mean PZ said that shit. Yeah. I've all said that shit before. I think sure. Dame Dot is. Yeah. Nah, that nigga's something different, bro. For like, sure. For sure. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? He's one of them. He's one of the ones that's something different. Give me Slim Chick versus Thick Chick. Ooh. Which one? Why? Uh -huh. Ooh, like, why, what are we saying? Like, like who, who you who you prefer, a thick ass chick or a little slim petite chick? You know what I'm saying? Got a little curve, a little. Curve. A low key. Like Slim Jimmys, yeah, yeah. but I low key chase thick girls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you, 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 you so you I low key be on bullshit. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to. Do. I low key be shit. Uh, give me uh, Nas versus Jay Z, dog. Nas, hey, nigga, thank you, dog. Finally, somebody agree with me. I don't man. understand. Like, listen, Jay is the goat. I would, I met Jay Z for sure, and I that mean, was yeah, that. You was in the same room, man. That shit, get, yeah. like the nigga gave me. I, we didn't have words. Yeah, we got no eye contact though. The nigga gave me. He seen me. He was. I was like this <laughs> and then I looked over at him and he was like cause I was Sean's street friend yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah <laughs> you sure. know Sean usually not around guys like me yeah for sure yeah, in LA yeah. be honest you know yeah, what I'm saying yeah. they, you know they look a little I'm, I was in that bitch like <laughs> that nigga like and Jay was like niggas have <laughs> and I looked at him <laughs> I started smiling and shit <laughs> like, like a bitch. <laughs> I was like, what, me? <laughs> me? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, dog. I couldn't even play it off, dog. This shit was crazy. Nah, nah, yeah, that's, soft shit. that's probably the softest shit I've ever done in my life. <laughs> that's probably literally the softest shit I've ever done. I've done some... I, that's probably the softest shit I've done in my life, ever. I smiled when Jay, when I had the meme, I smiled. I was like, it was crazy. That thing went from nigga Bobby and man. Yeah, like, full of the lyrics, like, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah that's what the streets want. Yeah. Oh, uh -huh. <laughs> like. Nigga smiled like this. <laughs> <laughs> like, it was, <laughs> and no. that nigga, 
Yeah, yeah, no, I mean, yeah, that was wild. Duh, um, but, I, but 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 I just I get so frustrated when people act like when Nas and Jay was going at it with that ether cane, yeah, yeah. there was nothing else said. Like, no, sure. yeah, people were so listen. People were so fanned out on Jay Z that they said the takeover and shit was crazier and all this other shit, yeah. bro. When ether hit. It yeah, was the bomb. Right. Hell yeah, it was the sure. bomb. It was like, yo, this thing is different. Hell yeah, dog. Give me uh, Jordan ones versus Air Force ones. If you had to wear one forever, which one are you gonna be rocking, dog? Damn. The white Air Force ones or or the original OG Jordan ones. Um, I'm probably gonna go with Forces. Mm -hmm. I like Jordan ones better, but overall, I don't see. I like I I used to hate. I used to. I've never hated Forces. I might have been like, nah, kind of. <clears throat> Nelly came out with a song. It's yeah, kind of yeah, over. Yeah. I'm kind of over it right now. Yeah. But I didn't hate them. For sure. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. But Jordan ones, I used to actually hate Jordan ones. Yeah. And then I seen my homeboy Jaren Benton. My this literally happened in Atlanta. My, my like I didn't like Jordan ones until like maybe 2016. Yeah. My homeboy Jaren Benton was wearing them, and the way he wore them like off his jeans, yeah. like, I was damn. like, damn, that shit hard. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I guess you can rock these bitches and they look kind of cool. You know yeah, what I'm saying? So hell yeah. and he's not a cool nigga at all. So <laughs> <laughs> that's the crazy. He's the the farthest from yeah. cool. If he made that shit cool, <laughs> yeah, I, like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I would never want to do what he does. <laughs> and if he made me, yeah, I was like, fuck, okay. <laughs> Ass versus titties, dog. Titties. Hell yeah, I love some good titties, man. <laughs> like any titties? Like nigga, you pregnant titties? Nigga, I mean, uh, I would nigga. like <laughs> No stand up titties like we... <laughs> Oh no, any titties for me. Yeah. On that regard. But I the bigger the better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause yo, when you go when you when, when a chick go through some pregnancies, them bitches get to, you know I think that girls with big titties act differently than girls with big asses. Yeah. I think that they're like I think they're freakier. Yeah, with the big titties? Yeah. Probably because cause they got a lot more to prove. Try to make up that, uh, yeah. No ass, but it's it's go, a subconscious watch, thing. Watch this. They think that nobody's <laughs> looking at them. And yeah. the whole time, bitch, we've always been looking at you. For sure, for sure. In person game or DM game? Uh, I got my DM games probably better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't DM girls though. Oh, for, okay, okay, okay. Not for real. Like yeah. I like never. I've never done that for real. Thanksgiving versus Christmas. Which one you fucking with the most? You got kids. Thanksgiving. Like which one you fuck with the most? Like? <sighs> Damn, that's a good question. It's my you know. I would say Christmas because you like seeing how they, yeah, you know, with sure. gifts. Yeah, happy as hell, you broke. But Thanksgiving, yeah, but Thanksgiving, <laughs> at least I'm not yeah, broke as yeah, fuck. You, so. ain't, you ain't got to pay for no yeah. food. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jamie Foxx show versus Wayne Brothers. Jamie Foxx. Damn. But Wayne, Wayne, nah, Wayne Brothers, but Wayne Brothers was kind of corny for a minute, too. Duh. It was kind of, Jamie Foxx never really was corny. Yeah. Yeah, you know. Yeah, hey, that nigga had that motherfucker, uh, Astro Man. That shit was uh, classic, dog. <laughs> Give me podcast versus rep. Versus who? Podcast versus rap. Which one you like doing the most? I know you just started the podcast shit, but. Yeah, but. Damn. Podcast, probably. For real? Yeah, because yeah. rap is just so much like. A podcast, man, you can like just talk and yeah. just like express yourself. Oh, for sure. Rap yeah. is like. They want you to talk like this. They want like. Yeah. Like every. Like even me. Like a, a fear that I've had. Not fear, but a fear that exists with me is like. Every project I try to like give a lifestyle type of song, mm -hmm. just so that I don't lose that, yeah, yeah, that particular audience. Yeah, yeah. You know but what I'm saying? You can really be like, but yeah, with podcast, podcasts, just, just whatever, nigga, yeah. nigga. Hell yeah, this is how yeah. I am, nigga. What's up? Yeah, you know what yeah. Hell yeah, dog. Now, see, what's some, uh, what's some, what's what's some last like last question? What's some uh, advice you give to a new artist coming to the game right now, bro? They be like, hey man, over. I need your advice, man. Uh, humble yourself. Man. Oh, yeah. That's the main yeah, thing yeah. I would say. Nigga, hum like, nigga, stop thinking that you've been doing something for so long because you haven't. It's always somebody that's done it longer. For sure. Hell yeah. Humble yourself and, like, and shut the fuck up and listen. Yeah, for, a lot. Yo, for sure. Niggas don't shut up at all, dog. Niggas don't Niggas shut, don't the shit, up. shut the fuck up. I've never seen so many 22 year old philosophers <laughs> in my life. I'm just like, hey, so, so uh, they all woke as fuck. Yeah, yeah. Like, if, so if you've been through all that at 22 yeah. and I'm 10 years older than you, 13, 15 but years old. You know what my son said to me, though? We were talking about the, he was, he, my son catch the school bus. The school bus stop is at the end of the block. Yeah. He walks seven, eight houses down. So like, man, this going, this about to be snowing soon. I ain't gonna feel like doing that shit. I'm like, boy, I used to catch the regular plumbing bus, nigga, <laughs> in the snow, and not knowing if the bus is gonna come at the time. You know your bus come at six forty eight every yeah. fucking morning. Yeah. You walk down to the block and you good. Like, but dad, how you gonna compare mine? This is what I'm going through. 
You can't compare. <laughs> like he, he basically saying like, you can't compare. You can't be mad at me because I ain't go through what you went through, <laughs> nigga. This is what I hurt. That's this, crazy. This, this, this how I'm hurt. <laughs> he like every time I bring something up, you always talk about what you went through. <laughs> he, hey, you gonna be mad at me because I ain't go through your shit? Basically, you saying like, funny. don't be mad at me because you were broke as fuck, nigga. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> With no car, no household. <laughs> we had not one car, nigga. <laughs> not one. And then this nigga gonna ask me, you know, I changed the tire, nigga. No, I'm about to bust my whole. <laughs> we had no car. <laughs> That's hilarious. I'm gonna change the bus. That's hilarious, <laughs> nigga. I ain't no practice, nigga. <laughs> so, uh, I ain't know if a nigga put a donut on inside out, nigga. I'm happy to have a donut. That is wow. Damn, man. I also broke, nigga. I, I, I couldn't afford a new tire, nigga. I wound up getting a donut flat. <laughs> <laughs> like, nigga, how you get a flat tire in your regular one and Just a donut? Fuck it. <laughs> I'm that bitch like, nigga, I fucked up. <laughs> But man, hey man, I appreciate you coming through, bro. Oh man, for sure, bro. For hey, this sure. nigga follow me and shit. He got a whole bunch of followers. He follow me. I felt appreciate it. Uh. <laughs> for sure, man. Man, when I can't follow you I'm on social media. Tap it in. Um, everything overrolled with me, man. Mm -hmm. Um, except for I think Snapchat's like seven mile over or something like that. Cause somebody, yeah. some asshole took over on. <laughs> and uh, new project coming soon, man. Car yeah, Diamond, Diamond in my cards, man. Any day now, man. I mean, yeah. it, should, it should be up. You know what I'm saying? And then. Yeah, we're going to see, you know what I'm saying, what they gravitate towards, and we're going to knock the videos out. I already got a few ideas already, so. Good job, man. Yeah, no, it's, 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 a, it's a, I know, uh, I, I said my features, I got Bodie on there, Bodie James, I got Cash Kid, mm. Drago Bino, me and Sam Shabazz, of course, always do something. Yeah, for sure, hell yeah. Um, yeah, I got some features on there. I got some records on there, man. Bodie James, right. you be doing some of your, your shit with Griselda, man. Yeah, Bodie, shit, man. Bodie, Bodie, that, Bodie. You know what's funny, the, the artwork, uh went crazy right when i when i said it yeah. when i released it and he was one of the guys that hit me up and was like yeah he didn't like my artwork they, yeah. a lot, a, not just him but like people hit me up saying like why you use that picture yeah. and i was like well uh just to, the, the, to cover the artwork um the artwork is diamonds and my Cardi's is a statement project right okay where i'm trying to say like nigga a lot of people count me out for certain things here in the city and that's the influence of Cartiers. Yeah. So it started like some years ago. My artwork was, was something, was a picture that mm. was released like maybe four years ago, something like that. Mm. And it went viral. And just for whatever reason, you know mm. what I'm saying? And, uh, and nigga, I wasn't on it. Yeah. And I'm like, why the fuck you got pictures of all these niggas with Cartier's on? Yeah, and I'm the nigga with the Cartier song. Yeah, 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 that doesn't make sure. any sense. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And this disrespect happens so fucking much. <laughs> like, you'd be so surprised. I get hauled, nigga. <laughs> like, I'm talking about, bro. Like, I can't, you just can't please nobody, yeah, bro. Like, sure. you know what I'm saying? It's like, I, I, I didn't work Cartier's today for that simple reason. Like, I'm, <laughs> I'm done. Like, fuck y'all. This is my last hurrah. And y'all can have it. <laughs> I don't care. Like, nigga, <laughs> nigga, 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 listen, I'm trying to crazy guy. I'm, I'm, I'm saying this out of love, but it's the truth. It's what yeah. happened. Yeah. My nigga, clever vision of, oh, yeah, I'm not going to say, he, I'm not, right? yeah, 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 I'm yeah. not going to say he did it, but he was involved in a project with Cartier came to Detroit yeah. and like start tapping in with niggas, like <laughs> with niggas in the city, like artists. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cartier, the brand yeah. came to tap in with artists yeah, who influenced Cartier. Yeah. The niggas was interviewing payroll. Yeah. I'm like, when the fuck have you seen payroll with Cartier's on? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> nobody called me. Nobody DM'd me. Nobody emailed me. Nobody Nothing. Nobody did anything for me. Duh. And I was like, damn, how the fuck I missed this? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, well, what are y'all talking about? Were y'all talking about my song? Motherfucker, <laughs> like they they interviewed Duh. Lil Blade. I'm yeah. like, what the fuck you see Lil Blade with Cardi on? In the 19th. Yeah, he's a baby. Yeah, no, <laughs> like, what the fuck is going on here? No? It's, it's, it's just blatant disrespect. It's just blatant disrespect at this hey, time. Hey, everybody anti you, dog. Bro, <laughs> everybody hey, hates over. That's me on this album, though. Anti me, Anti, dog. oh, yes, nigga. Yeah, that's me. Anti me. It's nigga. crazy. That's I'm like, how the shit. fuck are we... Yeah. Uh, they were. I think that nigga. They were talking like this. Yeah. The main nigga from Cartier. Yeah. So Cartier's in the city. So how does this like? Yeah. Why the fuck are you talking to them for? <laughs> Duh, for sure. Well, yeah. Nobody yeah. held me down. So that was one thing. And then the artwork came, and the artwork was like, "Damn, I'm not nowhere." I, and I started thinking like, "Wait a minute, am I not like in a Cartier discussion?" <laughs> like, I thought that. I know I rock woods a lot, but shit. Yeah. Those are important. Like, yeah, what the fuck? Sure. Like, yeah, yeah, dog. 
Yeah, yeah, man. So that shit just kind of fucks so me up. So uh, that's what the album. The album I'm really being obnoxious. Yeah, 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 yeah. The album is not like no type of paying homage to these niggas. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, nigga, where am I? Yeah. Where, I'm fucking where, something out there. Where, Bam. Where the <laughs> fuck am I at? Who the fuck are these niggas? Basically what I'm saying. I don't even know who's on the camera. How about that, nigga? No. Who the fuck are these niggas? I've never heard of these niggas in my life. <laughs> no, that's me, dog. Goddamn, man. That's a good way. That's a good way to end the story, dog. End the show, yeah, show, man. Dog. Make sure y'all motherfucker get that shit when it come out, man. Down to my cardies, let's go. And he ain't on that motherfucker, dog. Ain't I ain't on there. Him, but you can listen to me, though. Yeah, car years, man. Motherfuckers, get, get your shit together. This man. city's a piece of shit. <laughs> All right, man. Episode one thirty three, man. Overrolling, man. My nigga, for pleasure, sure. man. Always. Shoppers, a by man. Podcast MVP, man. Voice of Detroit. Everything else, you know what it is, man. Fuck these other podcasts. Ha ha ha!